again. There you are. <laughs> That's a step in the right there. direction. There you go. Just, just fumbling through. I don't expect to be perfect at everything. I just like to be exemplary at a few things, even if they're dumb. You and you and me both, lady. You and me both. Oh, we're live right now. Yeah, yeah we sure yeah. are. Yeah. Hello, Hello everybody, guys. and welcome back to Gateway. <laughs> Hi. What shape you got? Hype train. All, All right. aboard the hype train. Choo it's choo. Choo choo. Episode right, four. Chugga, chugga, choo choo. Episode four of Gateway. We've been doing this for two months. This is oh fucking Oh my awesome. god. Two months. I'm excited. How's I'm everybody doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, actually. I uh, survived the Arctic Blitz. <sighs> I beat Cold Steel Four yesterday. I got a, uh, I I got oh. a new blanket. It looks like a tortilla. It's amazing. <laughs> tortilla blanket. I know, right? Uh, Punky sent me that through uh, my PO box. It was amazing. Yeah. Aww. Right. I, I bought a candle. candle. Ooh, I need to buy more candles. I had pizza <laughs> yesterday. I'm good. Man. I have so many. I have so many candles. I'm like a I only have one. Only I treasure one. it. I only have. One. Well, I burn. I burn the rest, and I'm. I use things very slowly, so I, I only burn it for like thirty minutes a day, because it uh, smells very pungently. It's like I have. I have one I got for Christmas, but I don't know if I'll be able to use it by the time I leave. So. How about you, Connor? How you doing? I am doing just dandy. Ooh. Uh, I am happy to be here playing some more uh, Fallout funny game with all of you wonderful people. It's amazing. I haven't died yet, so I'm not out of the story. Amazing. <laughs> the night is young. The night oh. is young. Will this be Rabbit's last show? Let's find out. Hopefully <laughs> not. Will we get On a very control? special episode of Gateway. Oh my god, no. <laughs> On a very special episode of Gateway, we kill this Ohioan. No. <laughs> Ohio man murdered. And I'm like, Ohio bury me. I'm like, bury me in Cleveland, but not East Cleveland. Never East Cleveland. It's uh, way too far from where we are. Bury me in Cleveland, someone, but not East someone Cleveland. Said quiet, Connor. Someone said I'm you're super, super quiet, quiet in comparison to everybody else. Yeah, you were for a yeah. moment. Quiet. Am I too quiet? I don't think I'm too Could quiet. You go I think ahead I'm fine. And increase the velocity in your lungs. The lungs. Or is could you, pasta could, parade could just? You, could you? Uh, Either that could or you, Lanny is loud as fuck. Mm. That's that's ahead. always the case. Hang on. Could you keep talking? I will continue talking. You can barely stop me from talking. I will you talk are until. Loud as fuck. I have been told. Oh really? I'm gonna just it's lower super... you a bit. I'm Jackety super. China, proud. the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick, and your brain starts thickening. So it thicken? starts to thicken. Starts thinking. <laughs> your brain starts thicken. It starts and to your thicken. Brain starts, like, like, starts to thicken. It's like like a good roux. Your brain starts to thicken. Mm, those are dicks. About X Files. <laughs> I just saw all the gifts you were posting in the chat. <laughs> yes. Did you guys ever think about Gudetama? <gasps> no. Yeah, a curry Sarah house. Yeah, and then like his little face. What? Uh, he, like, I know. In a ball. The, the, little, the little egg boy. Oh yeah, yeah. the lazy egg. That's right. Yeah. I yeah. have a yolk spot. He like hangs out, and then he's like, like thinking about something, and then he takes a nap under his like <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That is what he does. Yeah. Anyway. Where can they I... find you, Caitlin, when you're not talking about dicks or Gudetama? They don't know what I'm talking about. Stop! <laughs> That's right. I thought it was a great conversation. What? <gasps> Caitlin! Caitlin! Yes. Caitlin! Yes. Caitlin! Sarah! What? What? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, you should tell them where you're be... where they can find you. Sarah has something oh. to tell me really quickly. What is it? Can can we make can we make mochi shaped like those little dicks? Fuck yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Why do they have oh a mold? God, I, I, bet you, I bet you can get on Etsy and find a mold. Anyway, oh um, 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 I'm yes, a, hi. So, I'm on Twitter. Wait, who, which my, one of us is going first? Uh, I'll go really quick. Okay, my name go. is. Kaylin Elizabeth, you can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. I see that Citric put uh, my Twitch channel in there, which is Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's because boobs, uh, Twitch doesn't like boobs. Boobs doesn't like Twitch, apparently. Uh, also, I'm on a podcast called Nerd on the Podcast. If you go to nerdon.tv, you can find out more over there. That's the yeah. one. <laughs> Excellent. Sarah, where can they find you? Huh. I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H and with an E, Lilia. Um, I got a show. Um, I, uh, oh, oh, um, uh, uh, Dachi and Shimamura just started its dub run oh, yeah, on Funimation, and I am voicing Kino. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a lovely little sh show with with soft, soft, lovely things. No, that probably actually was dirtier than I intended it to be. I meant Yay, soft, nice, soft, lovely show. things. I like soft, yeah. lovely things. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> Take it as you will. I yeah, will. watch any trailer and you'll know exactly what she's talking about. I yeah. will. Like a nice titty. <laughs> what is soft, soft boobs, night pretty boobs? What? Or is it soft titty, lovely titty? I forget how the phrase goes. Are you doing like silent night, but with boobs? No, I think there's like a silent kind of like... boob. <laughs> Somebody oh, else go. I'm going to be confused for a while. Rabbit, where can they find you? Yo, hey, what's up? You can find me at twitch.tv slash hey, Mr. Rabbit, Monday through Thursday. I do horror games, RPGs, and retro games. I'm pretty funny. I'm an Ohioan. Come for an Ohioan who's funny. All right, there you go. Nice. Excellent. Stop See, kidding, that's how I did it. Quick. Easy, oh no segue about titties. But plenty of epilogue. Plenty of epilogue. Oh my god. Speaking of, of, of epilogues, that was a bad segue. Well, Lenny, where can we find you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm Lanny Pator. You can find me pretty much everywhere at Lanny Pator except Instagram. That's land one gram. Right now I'm playing Civ, so come on by and watch me commit war crimes. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> That's it. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, <laughs> streaming some tabletop games on Tuesday. Uh, tabletop war games, that is. Uh, Friday's Friday Funhouse, where I play a bunch of fun games. Uh, Saturday is Yakuza Kiwami 2. And Sunday is Half-Life Alex, or whatever I feel like playing at the, at the current juncture. Uh, be sure to check out Who Dead House Sonata. You already know what's up. What is it? Yeah. What is Dead House Sonata? Well, I don't know. How many puns can you make out of it? It's a vampire <laughs> game, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Check it out at that link. Wait, so you're playing as humans killing vampires, or? Oh, yeah, no, you're you playing as the dead, and, and get this, you're fighting the living. Do you also Wait, play what? robots? That seems alive? kind of productive to my interests as a living person. Well, yeah, but it's but it's fine, Lanny, because you're through the magic of role playing. You're uh, playing the uh, role uh, of the undead. You player. can uh, pretend uh, to be okay. dead. There you go. Also, check out my cool. DM field right there. Yeah, check I got out the DM Got subclasses coming out. Got subclasses coming out, and I also got uh, one on the way. He wrote uh, books. I'm proud of him. He does literature now. So wait, hang on. If people click these links and like support these things, do they support you also directly? That, that is true. And speaking of supporting us through links, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this episode, Die Hard Dice. Boom! Oh, oh my god! Die Hard wow. Dice! Holy shit! Mother of God! Okay, what are they? Uh, <laughs> Die Hard Dice. Uh, for all of your dice carrying accessories, uh, metal or polymer dice, uh, rolling trays, they got... Dice and dice accessories. Uh, and if you want to get a hold of some absolutely wonderful quality non-toxic dice, then head on over to dieharddice.com, enter in the affiliate code EXPECTFEB, and you can get a whopping 10% off your order price. Remember, that code is EXPECTFEB for the month of February. The unexpected fibbles. It's true. Unexpectuary. 
Wasn't expecting all of those sounds. <laughs> I am so uh-huh. uh. <laughs> Oh, that was a joke, wasn't it? Haha, <laughs> I'm very funny. Ah, uh, you have so much humor. I have so much humor, I don't even know when I'm funny. Ah, uh, oh, no. that's the best kind of comedian. Either that or it's like, or the it's worst. like the onset of a mental patient. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a little of both. <laughs> you. Oh, we'll cry about it later. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And I've got some bits and subs I would like to get through before we get started here on this lovely, wonderful game of Gateway. Of Gateway. All right. Ahem. Starting things off, we've got uh, Lunatic Crow. Thank you for the 11 months at Tier 2. PikaFan003. Thank you for the 11 months as well. Almost a year in. That's right. Oh, my God. we got one more month. <laughs> uh, extra more, Vowel. Thank you for the five months. Vader Bro 5186 Thank you for the five months as well. Glycerius. Thank you for the 11 months. 11 months does math. Oh, shit. 12 months should be <laughs> about on my birthday. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Sir Thomas Percy, thank you for the 11 months as well. Resmu5, thank you for the 11 months. Hello all, hope you're doing well in these trying times. Indeed. Kane Time, thank you for the 11 months as well. A lot of 11 monthers here. Big Wahoo! Peace Pipe, Almost thank you for the 97 year. months. Uh, or think of, not 97. Big Peace Pipe 97, thank you for the four months. Uh, doot a doot doot. Indeed. The Hand in the Iron Fist. Thank you for the 11 months. I am here. <laughs> All aboard the radioactive pre-war fallout train. Dangel, 131990. Thank you for the 7 months. Mr. Insecure. Thank you for the 11 months as well. Gateway You're Hype. Welcome. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Test Lab Monkey, they give her the 200 bits. I had to think about that one for a second. Thank you for the 200 bits. Been looking forward to this all week. Thank you guys so much for what you do. The Talbs, thank you for the uh, 11 months at Tier 2. Uh, th- th- the the use the Usla, the Usla, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Just some random Steve. Thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Lasume the robot. Thank you for the 200 bits. Hello. Hope you're all safe today. Destroyer 777. Thank you for the 100 bits. Just walked in and here we have already destroyed a hype train. Nice. Daniel Bonin. Thank you for the 10 months. 10 months add to. That's how long I've been watching. Ooh, so a whole year. Excellent. One whole year. Nice. Like Tabuya. Thank you for the 11 months in a row. Uh, I'm so happy to have been here for 11 months. Wait, what did I hear about Dick Mochi? Uh, I don't what know did you hear about Dick Mochi? What didn't you? Wow, okay. that sounds like a that sounds like a, a search engine search. Web crawler. Maybe at oh, oh. Perhaps. Mochi it's mochi up ding to ding you, ding internet ding user. Mochi <laughs> Dick Mochi toy. There you go. I don't know what I'm talking about. It brings me joy. Mochi. No, it's in general, by the way, Caitlin. <gasps> what? Nova Jen, thank you for the 11 months. Survived the freeze. Let's thaw out with some awesome role play. Indeed. Hell yeah. Hell Nia, yeah. To surviving the, the freeze. Nia and the Mantid, thank you for the 100 bits. February's been hard, but D&D has kept my spirits up. Been catching up on ties to bind while doing groceries, too. I was hey. trying not to lose my mind during Lanny's mad encounters while mundanely paying for fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I hope you are enjoying them. <laughs> <laughs> as much as the people I inflict them upon. Yes. <laughs> Verdi and Winter, thank you for the 1,000 bits. We're back, bitches. Sarah, how is Diabetes Kitty? We're all polling for him. Oh, Diabetes Kitty had to go back to L.A. with his actual owner. Oh. Yeah, my, my sister's husband um, had to go back to L.A. for uh, work, and he was driving cross-country, so he 
they had decided to take the cat with them then and get him back home. They are home now, and apparently Kitty is fine, but I'm still in that weird phase where it's like I'm not used to him being gone yet. I keep driving by the Petco and being like, oh, do I need to get more food for her? Oh, no. <laughs> He, does, well, he's got all, he doesn't need me to buy him food anymore. It's safe to say that he's still in good hands, though. Mm, just miss having a cat on my bed 24 7 because he never moved <laughs> except to go pee and eat. Oh my god, that was my cat. He was like, hey, that sounds cat. like me. That sounds like a cat. I suppose I don't miss the potential of having my crap peed on because sometimes he just wouldn't go to his box. Oh, Indeed. wow. Oh, that's rough. The useful thing for the 100 bits. I know it's not the Prince Division, but I've never been able to tune in, and I just wanted to show my appreciation to these podcasts. Uh, and it makes my work day go much quicker. Uh, thanks, the the Usla. Yeah. What does that mean? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, huh? <laughs> Whatever you want it to. Indeed. Kitty Cat Gundam 81, thank you for the five bits. Uh... And the useful thing were the 300 additional bits. Erwin Elf, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Came in at an interesting time, indeed. Yes. Wandering Storyteller, 1995, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hello, Gateway Crew. It's going to be the one-year anniversary of my D&D campaign. It's the longest campaign I've ever DM'd. Thank you for the inspiration, and thank you for all the content. Connor. Hell yeah. Could you oh, yeah. wish the Bane of Fortitude good luck on their journey? That's the name of my player's guild. Uh, the Bane of Fortitude. Good, good luck all on your journey, Bane of Fortitude. Why do you not have fortitude? That sounds like something you need to be an adventurer, but I guess this is why you need good luck. <laughs> Send me a postcard. <laughs> uh, Logan Hunter, thank you for the sub. X Wiley Willie, thank you for the 11 months in a row. Resmu, thank you for the 100 bits. If you play during a blue moon, would it be... <laughs> I think we made this one already. Dead House Sinatra? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, we made that one. I wheeze. Yeah. <laughs> not Dante, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Gateway hype, been a rough week. Not as bad as Texas folks, though. Looking forward to some smiles. Hope you're all hanging in there. Elated Megalodon, thank you for the 100 bits. This is super weird, but Rabbit being here is making me have a proud day moment. Like, I remember way back when the Unexpectables first raided him, back when he was making Unexpectables characters in Dark Souls. Oh, God, yeah. That was, those were fun times. My Bloodborne playthrough with Sally Andrus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been uh, a while. Those are very fun times. And now you're here. Yeah, it's fucking wild, because everyone's like, <laughs> just really up there, and I'm like, I'm an Ohioan. You need a Drew Carey. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Travis and Carey, they were the 100 bits. So, DM, I love your new sponsor for that classic game where you feed a mouse an excessive amount of food. God. Fed Fuck. mouse. Fed mm. mouse a lot Ah, uh, shit. Oh <laughs> I've got a fucking headache. <laughs> Fed mouse a lot. I just imagine I am, a really a fat ball of a mouse going chew. I am too hungover for that pun. <laughs> Clanless oh Elvlarg, thank you for the 300 bits. The new hit game where you play is the undead to race yachts against the living. Dead House Regatta. No! <laughs> Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. I have died. You know it's a good bit when people are doing Wikipedia searches to find puns. <laughs> you you play as a South Indian sweet potato to fight the living dead house batata. Oh my god. Okay, okay, you're, okay. these are That's... these are really rich. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, nice halo reach there, buddy. <laughs> wow. Polka King, thank you for the 100 bits. Why no. did the murderer leave broken clocks at the scene? They were killing time. Mm. I see. <laughs> thank you for the bits. And nothing well, now we else. Can... Well, now we can... <laughs> I feel like... Wondering feel Storyteller, like... thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Lanny, you're awesome. That's it. That's the bits. Thank you. Appreciate I feel like it. The 
<laughs> slowly gonna become puns that make us all groan. Probably. A game, a game where you play as a chef to make the perfect lasagna. Dead house ricotta. No, Ed, don't no. That would I be said you were nice. don't make me be wrong. A dairy farmer. Because you're making the cheese for it. Freak bees, thank you for the ten months. First time catching Gateway Live. <laughs> Hope everyone is safe and sound. Indeed, it seems like everyone is is doing their best. Surviving. I'm, e I'm yeah. eating a lot of cookies. <laughs> My space eater came in the day after the freeze stopped. Oh, great. Yeah. You know, that's how it always is, though, right? Like... I ordered it five days before it was supposed to be here. Oh, my oh. God. It did well, not make it to time. At least you'll have it in case it happens again. Yeah. Uh, Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 90 bits. Uh, war. War never changes. Uh, unless you finish a war, then I guess it changes. <laughs> oh my uh, God. Damn it, I got one. What? This is courtesy of my, my BF. It's a, an empty house in southern Italy. Dead house basilicata. No. Yes. That's not even the correct amount of syllables. Come <laughs> on ahead. Call him a big <laughs> thumb. <laughs> nom nom goblin. Thank you for the 105 bits. <laughs> Now you know how Monty gateway feels. time. Just caught so me in Cubone and in Pokemon Go. I'm naming it Apex now. Ooh. A. Apex Cubone. Master Ryu, thank you for the three months or five months of Prime Subage. Woohoo, let's do this. Thornton 6000, thank you for the eight months. Uh, Ed Bosco, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Booze McBalrog. Thank you, Ed. It was very sweet. Yeah, monkey, yeah. monkey zero nine five three. Thank you for the five hundred bits. <laughs> Y'all got any beans? What the? F oh, I know exactly what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> they, they they Zalgo text the beans. So I Zalgo beans. I don't. I okay. Y'all got any? Oh, no, no, that was good. <laughs> Monkey. Uh, mid Midnight Dr. White. Uh, thank you for the uh, 11 months. Hydro Taku, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. Offbreaker John, thank you for the 100 bits. B T Rex, B fused with T Rex. Think about it. Do you think there's a little crafty and elder Ooh, god Rex. of beans called Legume? Maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh, I hope so. Masa, are you thinking really 100 bits? Whew, a little late, but I still made it on time. Time for some Death Claw Sonata. Dracolich, thank you for the sub gifted to the community. Platinum Raven, thank you for the nine months of Prime subage. Masa, are you thinking for the 100 bits? Let me show you my true reaching power. Meryl Streep. If Meryl Streep. Oh my god. Um, if Meryl Streep were in the game, it would be the Undeadware Prada. <laughs> I like it. Shut up and go to jail. What? No. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. I can't think of a pun, so let's just say that I did. God damn it, Blackfoot Ferret. I can't oh believe God. you would make a pun oh like that. that pun I, I, was so good. I am upset. so miffed. That Zenlita, so thank you for the 200 bits. Allow me to make it up to you. If the game had a crossover with Overwatch, hopefully not, it would be yeah. De Zenyatta. <laughs> <laughs> Experience undead fighting the living. Oh, God. <laughs> Pyrotic Napalm, thank you for the 500 bits. Monkey. Thank you for the 300 uh, additional bits. <laughs> You thought it was a dead house, not a pun, but it was me, Dio. Ah. Oh my god, yeah, we've yeah, been you fooled. Subverted, you subverted my expectation. C. <laughs> Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. A game where the undead make a fancy breakfast. Dead house frittata. Danger, oh. thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, with the exact same pun, uh, get some originality, please. Blue Kios, thank you for the 1,000 bits. No message, just bits. Spectre Fall, thank you for the 100 bits. When you... 
uh, when you dead become mariachi band, Deadhouse Maraca. <laughs> Deadhouse Maraca! <laughs> Masaryu, okay. thank you for the 100 bits. I'm in the mood for some Deadhouse enchiladas. RPG Good. Russian, thank you for the 11 months. Maverick the Warlock, thank you for the 11 months as well. Coming in a little late. I can't believe this channel is already this old. That's true. We're coming in up on our oh. one year anniversary of having the actual Unexpectables channel. It's crazy. Yeah, that's that explains funny. all the eleven monthers. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, that's goofy bonkers, man. A lady goofy megalodon. Thank you for the one hundred bits. I thought it was an instrumental piece composed for someone's late wife, dead spouse cantata. Oh God! <laughs> well, well. Zet Zedimus, thank you for the 200 bits. Oh boy, time for ghouls, grenades, and gore. Uh, Jack DeCrow, thank you for the 500 bits. Ah, off work until the end of February. Have some bits, bits, bits. Ooh, nice. Oh, thank you. Off work Congrats. until the end of February. Sounds like a good deal. Yeah, a seriously. Little, a little bit over a week off. God damn. Pyrotic Napalm, thank you for the 500 bits. Sending good vibes to the Texans uh, during this and this great crew of wasteland survivors and finally He's master funky. ryu thank you for the five bits if you were muppets to fight the living Save a if, line, if Mark. you were muppets to fight the living it would be dead house mana mana dead house sonata 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 da -da -da -sonata, da -da -da. Oh. And with that, I think we're ready to jump into tonight's episode. Yay! Are all these puns for Deadhouse Sonata just going to drive you one day into an asylum? Oh, they're slowly yeah, wearing away at my soul. The game, will come out, the game will come out eventually. It's true. And then and then you'll... And then I can stop. <laughs> yeah. And then I can stop. Then and you can then rest. And then you all can stop. <laughs> then you can join the dead to fight the living. It's oh true. My God. That is something you can do with Dead House Sonata. You can All play. Right. You can well, play. So, All right. Let's play a video of game. Videos on videos. Their you know, videos. Let's, game let's, we'll, play. we'll play a game on a video screen for other people watching the video screen. That okay. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> when last we left. Apex, Alvin, Louise, and Cynthia. They had just escaped from the dreaded clutches of the arena. They made their way down south, passed by a diner, and met a lovely woman. Then they traveled to St. Luke's Hospital, where they had an encounter, a frightening encounter with a cow and a super mutant. Mm. After that was settled, and the super mutant fled with his cow, Pepper, they proceeded into St. Luke's Hospital. There they found that someone was above them, rummaging through the ruins of the hospital. Then... Where did my music go? <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine this is what happens in Apex's head at all times. <laughs> he just taps his ear and the music starts uh -huh. again. It seemed like Cynthia short-circuited and fired off a shot into the ceiling, killing a ghoul. Then another one somehow made its way down the elevator shaft and... Through quick thinking by Alvin and Apex, managed to squash it like a bug with a few doors. It was there that they met a non-feral ghoul. After disarming him almost literally, he was shocked to find that they were the four escaped slaves from the arena, like he had heard about on the radio days prior. How will this tense scene play out? Find out now on today's episode of Gateway.
So say we were these slavers. These escaped slaves. What would that mean to you? Give me just one second here. No worries. Yeah, I gotta tell y'all, this is a real tense situation here. Well, it would mean that. I mean, that would explain a lot. I ain't never seen you guys around here before. Yeah, no, like I said, I'm from Riverside originally. I am from right. the West. The West? Uh, a lot of wasteland out there. Old farms. He's sort of still clutching his wrist. He 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 looks tense. And he takes another further step away from you all. If we were these escaped slaves. What would your course of action be? I hope it's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me what you are Whew, right now God. right now you have all the card smooth skins i get a smile and sort of re-gesture with my pointed rifle at my pointed shotgun and him it's like yeah you got a point on that one she sort of winces away when you when you reaffirm your position over him well, hey if this is all just a mis big misunderstanding you don't got point guns at him or anything like that i true the first ghoul was a mistake. And a mistake. A knee-jerk reaction from our companion. The second ghoul was another misunderstanding. Your life, however, rests on a choice. Make it well. I I don't think it rests. What the hell's on up with this guy? Basically, Look, he's, basically he's, he's saying he's, we can be friendly or we can be not friendly. That kind of depends on you. I had no intention of harming you, but I've had guns pointed at me lately, and I do not appreciate it. He's been awfully tense since he, you know, since all this. I, I'm, I'm awfully sorry about the misunderstanding. I, I remember hearing something like uh, different ghouls and whatnot take care of their own and whatnot. I had never heard about ghouls and feral ghouls working together, though. How's that all work? I, like I said, I'm here. Let, let me apologize on behalf of all of them. I I didn't mean anything by it rightly, but how does that all work? Feral ghouls and ghouls together. He sort of cocks a brow at you and he, he goes over. He, he sort of slumps over to this old office desk and he plops himself down in the chair. He's still looking at you all. He's just trying to gain some distance. Take your time, man. Apex has relaxed a little, but is still ready to act. I I put a hand on Apex's shoulder, reassure him. Most Mooskins don't know, so I I can't blame you for not knowing. Yeah, that's no trouble at all. Feral ghouls recognize us like one of their own. So must they be, don't attack y'all or anything? Must be the smell or something. No, Pharaohs don't attack us. Hmm. Well, that's some kind of nice. That, that's, that's handy, you know? That, I'm not sure what the science behind it all is, but they don't. I couldn't tell you much either. I'm more machines myself, not so much the science and biology of things. But, so, you have, so you have them like as, like protection, like how some caravanners go ahead and take like gunmen with them. Something like that? That's putting it nicely, yeah, I guess. We, the Harbingers, we round up ferals and we use them like, uh, what would you call them? They just pretty much get rid of anything undesirable in places we plan on scouting out or looting. You use them as dogs. That's the not nice way of putting it, but yeah, sure. So they don't really, they don't rabbit, really. Like that. Red sometimes. Rats, all that. I sometimes. Get you. 
I don't understand it. Is that just something the harbor? Is that just something the harbingers do, or is that just something all the ghouls do? Most most likely. Hmm. Not really. It was an idea from our boss. Is there, a, right. is, is there another uh, is there another chair around in this room? There are not on not on his side of the room. It's, it's sort of like a big, uh, not really a reception area, but more like where all the paperwork gets done, like like cubicles. All right, all right. Then so if there yeah. is a chair, I'll pull up a chair and just sit down too, completely relaxed, just looking at him, just just okay. talking. He sort of relaxes his his posture relaxes a bit as well, and he's like still clutch, he's still clutching his wrist. It's it's quite clearly broken. I'm terribly sorry about all that misunderstanding with your wrist. By the way, you uh, got a stim pack though, and whatnot should should patch up before long, right? If I remember right, about how stim packs work up, it should set here in a second. Do you need anything to help? Do you need anything to help set it? And Alvin just. And I, I look in my uh, tool, like my tool belt, like, do you need like a why zip tie or something like that? I can make a splint out of something. Why the hell are you being so nice to me? Well, that's what I am. I try being nice to anybody. I don't care if you're, I, I don't care about if you're a ghoul or whatnot or a mutant or anything. If you're hurt and need help and you're nice enough, I'll help y'all out. He like sort said, of looks like he, he, he gives you a look like you're some sort of mythical creature <laughs> it's it's a mixture of of awe and disbelief <laughs> it's a yeah, no, yeah, it's no, a rare no. thing to find a smooth skin who isn't a bigot it's even rarer to find someone who's altruistic i'd have uh well i have my uh i, I have boss man to go ahead and thank for that one he raised me since i was real small Boss man, you like your boss. dad or something? No, not not really. I, I don't remember my parents at all, honestly. I just remember I, I I just remember he was a man in a uh he was a man in a, a a weld mask, in a big work suit, Saint Louis Saint Louis machine shop, and he took me in, and he took me over to his work crew about nineteen other people, and well, if you don't mind me being forward, they. They're all ghouls too, just like y'all. Really? He raised ah. me when I, yep, like I said, raised me when I was real small. Taught me about a lot of the old world. Taught me about how to go ahead and work on anything from vault tax and whatnot, hip boys, cars. While stuff. while okay. he's talking, uh, he's he's gonna keep an eye on on the rest of you. What are you doing? Apex is keeping his eye on. Like he he's lessened his uh, tension, seeing that you know this conversation is going well now. But he's just kind of keeping his senses about him in case this is some sort of trap. Um, Judging just based off of the situation and and his posture and stuff, you have him thoroughly at a disadvantage. Absolutely, I'm just like keeping my wits about me in case. Uh, anything else has entered due to the commotion we caused or anything like if he had other ghouls that he had did not mention things that he might be trying to keep safe or secret gotcha okay you can roll wits uh what is everybody else doing i'm just maintaining my conversation with uh with this uh with this goal just keeping them nice and calm yeah. that's a five i'm not doing too good on that front yeah you're you're sort of a bit on edge and you're, you are somewhat distracted by Alvin as well, telling his, telling his story and you, you, you feel about that. However you would feel. Uh, what about Cynthia Louise? Um, I'm just keeping him covered. I mean, I'm not horridly concerned, but then again, that's Louise for you, but you know, she's got her, she's got her shotgun on him. Not like aggressively so, but it's just sort of that thing of like, I don't do anything if you don't do anything and we're both cool. And Cynthia is just like, still has her hand on the weapon, but it's like down at her side. Um, and 
as as they talk about the being used as gu- guard dogs, um, her eyes have been kind of staticking between like a chromy silver and blue. Whenever the guard dog conversation comes up, it starts to like orange a bit and go back down. Um, and then levels out a little bit as Alvin is talking about the old world starts starts phasing into from the orange into like a pinkish but she doesn't move very much okay so he he while you're talking to him alvin he you you do notice that he's got sort of a, a cautious eye on the rest of your party as well i had no intention of harming you Well, well, what do I say to that? You killed both of my ghouls, you broke my weapon, you took the rest of the weapons that I had, and then you broke my wrist. There's a thing about intentions and actions. I'm still screwed here. You kept your life despite threatening mine. We're all different one way or another, I get it. But I understand everybody... Their intentions are high. We came into a place. The ghouls want now. Like I said, I never even heard about this beforehand. This is mighty interesting. I got to say, he did break a gun though. I, I, I tell you what, see this shotgun on my shoulder, sir. He's when looking we, e- when, even more. Don't worry. Uh, don't disbelieving worry. at this point. When we get done with this conversation, depending on how it folds out, you know, like, what, how, however it does, I'll leave this shotgun outside the room. All you have to do is just leave the door and just go ahead and take it at the doorstep. I don't use it too much anyway. I go ahead and use these, I go ahead and use these power fists more often. I don't like using them for, like, the physical application. I like using them more for the fix and stuff and whatnot, but, I mean, it does work one way or another, I'll tell you. You're seriously giving and, that to me? Of course. We all gotta look out for each other. That's what I was raised. What's your purpose? With your life. Yeah. I'm saying that. That's a good He's... question, Cynthia. What y'all doing here? And she's looking very intently at him. Well, uh, the boss sent me to go uh, explore this hospital's radiology department. Apparently, he needs something in here, like a device. I was saying like to secure what? it. Hmm. He he looks at you, Cynthia. Like uh, he he squints his eyes and he sort of grits his teeth and leans away. Hey, look between her and Alvin, they're prob she's probably the other one you're gonna like the most out of the four of us. So that's on a need to know basis. I need to know. You threatening me over this? What happened to your misunderstanding? I've had a lot of those, and I don't want to have any more today. Well, then don't misunderstand this lady. You're not in with us, so I can't tell you. Boss's orders. Is your boss in with the people at the arena? What? No! Of course not! The people at the arena would all lock us up! Then we have a common enemy. So I say if you need a little bit of hand... And so I say again... Uh, Alvin was talking. Sorry. (laughs) So, might be... Like I said, tensions are high, but if y'all don't like the arena, and well, I'll tell you what, I don't like. I don't care for the arena either. And I'm just me, Miss Cynthia, Mister Apex, and Miss Luis. We might be able to go ahead and help each other. I mean, I understand y'all got your orders and whatnot, but ain't there something I might be able to do to help y'all out? There's a way for like, you know, sorry about the mess, and well, since you're. Since the other ghouls are, I'm sorry about that. 
I really am. But is there any way I can help you out? Maybe? He he continues to look at you and his whenever you start talking specifically, his features sort of soften. <sighs> what about the rest of you? You wanna make up for this or you're gonna keep threatening me? I really don't have anything else to offer you. I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. All the harm but Apex has done has been done. I have no intention of causing more. Well, if you're on Louis. board with your friend here about making it up to me, you can help me find that machine. What does it look like? You said something about a radi radius radiology on? department. Radiology. It's where they used to treat cancer patients. Radiation therapy, they used to call it. <laughs> Seems silly now. <laughs> kind of does, looking back, don't it? <laughs> Connor, when he says he's not going to hurt us, does that ping my takes one to no one at all? You get the sense that even if he wanted to hurt you, he can't at the current juncture. So he's basically given up all hope of trying to get out of this situation through violence. Louise cocks her head. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, he does appear to be telling the truth. Louise cocks her head. And shoulders her shotgun and just shrugs and be like, hey, if you're cool, I'm cool. I'm kind of curious about the machine anyway. And hey, if we help you, does Cynthia get to know about what it is about, huh? Hey, well, if you help me find it, I suppose I owe you that much. Apex will help on one condition. Okay. Where you travel. Spread words of your encounter with the Apex. <laughs> uh, he, he likes sure. it. <laughs> Apex, Apex nods. Okay. And keep me out of it. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, well... Are you going to help me or not? Yes. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. I'll extend a hand to shake his. He looks at your hand briefly and slowly reaches out and grabs your hand and gives it a shake. You know, you are. you're not bad for a smooth skin. What did you say your name was? Alvin. Alvin Bronson. Alvin Bronson. Mm -hmm. I'll remember that. I'm glad. You're one of the what? good ones. Oh, thanks. Well, what's your name, by the way? My name? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's Gov. Gov? Yeah. Well it's, well, it's quite nice to make your acquaintance, go. Well, come on. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find that radiology, whatever. See if we can't see what's going on with it. I appreciate this. You know, you're helping out a lot of ghouls by helping me find this thing. What's it for? Well, he, he looked like he was about to tell you, and then he, he catches himself. Oh, that's right. It's your boss man. Your boss man told you not to tell anyone. I get it. I get it. Let's find it first, and I can give you a little vague overview. I suppose I owe you that much. Hey, no problem. No problem. Y'all lead. Y'all lead on the way. I'll go ahead and follow right behind you. All right. Okay. All righty. Well. So, uh, Louise shoulders her bag, and it's just like, all right, which way are we going then? Then she stops and she's like, oh, I'm not one of the good ones too, Phil. Shut up. What? You got like a radio in there or something? Hmm? Oh, no, no, that's Phil. He's in my backpack. He's mouthing off again. Shut up. Seriously. God, I have no problem leaving you in the lobby. Only he she can to... hear him. There's all taps in the wasteland. She... 
special? Louise has already kind of gone up a little ways in the hall, just kind of peeking around. She's not really listening to their conversation anymore. Special? Well, yeah, she's one of a kind if that's what you're asking. Indeed. Cynthia really? looks around and goes, aren't we all here? You mean like she can read minds or something? As Maybe. far as I'm aware, no. I never even thought of that, to be truthful. I heard about Special types of smooth skins that can do that kind of stuff. It's weird. Really? I never heard of that. Where'd y'all hear that information up at? Uh, I, I probably said too much anyway. Uh, let's go find this thing. Hey, no problem. No problem. He, he looks a bit... Uh, he looks a bit anxious after he, he keeps letting these things slip around you. Okay. So, um, she's moving that way. Apex points towards uh, where Louise has been walking. Louise kind of calls back, <laughs> hey, are we going up a floor or down? Apex I don't just know. assumes Louise knows where they're going. All I know is we're looking for the radiology department. There might be some kind of directory on the walls or something. Well, Kurt formally on the walls or something. Let's go ahead and check around there, see if I can find like a map or something. When Look Cynthia, for those radiation symbols. When Cynthia was hacking the system, did she like figure out the layout of the hospital as well? Or um like would she see like radiology? Because she was like scanning through everything. You so... got a really good roll, so I'll say yes. You did get a, a a general overview of of where of of your surroundings in this. I'll say yes. Okay. Um. And where is the radiology department then? The. You know the radiology department is in this building. Uh, in the building you're all in. Um, it is on the, hang on, I'm looking at my own little map right here. You know, from your position, it would be to the far west, uh, of the building in the west wing. It's in the west wing. How do you know oh. that? I spent some time on the computer a bit earlier. Oh, you got that terminal activated. I suppose that's why I heard that Securitron stomping around. You really... That thing was going to tear me apart. Why'd you call it off I... anyway? Well, let's just say, uh... It's having a bit of a... A reaction, and once I finished, I came to my senses. Sort of swallows a bit. Uh -huh. Well, Miss Cynthia, where's the West Wing from here? Follow me, and she'll start walking that direction. All right. Come on, Gov. Apex, Apex it, it, follows. Come on, Gov. It's okay. Let's get going. Louise, this way. Okay. Can I at least oh, have like oh, a... Coming. Can I at least have like a knife or something to defend myself in case we come across any rad roaches? I have a wrench in my tool belt. Want it? Yes, that'll work. I'll hand him off my wrench. He takes it and sort of just has a hold of it. Apex scouts ahead with Cynthia. Okay. Um, Cynthia, you would know that it is on the top floor uh, in the West Wing. Uh, the the uh, nuclear medicine department is what they called it. Okay. Um, and without having to roll, you pretty easily start to find these uh, warning radiation exposure signs. Uh, and you get to where you assume the... Uh, this department is. 
And is okay. it just is it just Apex and Cynthia that are uh, scouting ahead? I, uh, I figured we were out ahead. Louise seemed like they had turned around, and not sure what pace Alvin and Gov were keeping. What were you? Uh, what pace were you keeping? Uh-huh. Uh, um, if oh, sorry, go ahead. I was I was keeping a city pace, like I could go ahead and keep Cynthia and Apex and eye shot, so I can find out like whether or not they turn left or right or just go, going straight. But I'm trying to keep pace with Gub, just if he's wounded or limping or whatnot, I'm going to keep pace with him. He um, looks, I'll say. Oh, sorry, go ahead. He looks for the most part like he's fine. Uh, it seems that that stim pack really did him good, and he his broken arm, his broken wrist is now seemingly healed. He's holding the wrench in that hand as well. Um, he appears to be sticking to you specifically, Alvin. I'm sort of, um, just following them. I'm not too far behind them, like maybe just a couple of feet, but I'm sort of bringing up the rear and sort of watching our backs with, cause I have a, you know, I have a ranged weapon in case something does come up behind us. While Apex is walking with Cynthia. You referred to Alvin as captain. Did I? It's what he said. Interesting. She says, not looking at him. Are you a soldier? Something like that. I was. Long ago. My uncle knew a man with the Brotherhood. Were you with them? Connor, do I know of the Brotherhood? Of Steel, specifically. Oh, oh. Make... No, you wouldn't actually. Without it, without rolling, you uh, the Brotherhood of Steel is a completely foreign term to you. You have no idea. I have no idea what you're talking about, sweetie. Hmm. Apex nods and takes that information and continues keeping his wits about him in case there's anything in this hospital that's hiding. Okay. Um, roll wits then. Right, I guess that makes sense. Same for me. A five. Too engrossed in the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you're, uh, you're... Am I doing the same or? You can if you want to. Okay. Uh, wait. Two d. Two d six plus wits. Plus your wits. Okay, I don't know why my brain was hitching. So what the? F well, whoa, that's no, whoa, that's too whoa, many. Whoa, whoa, too whoa, many. Whoa, whoa. Wow, Let's try that again. What? What? No, wait. What? Why are there? No. How I've never seen exclamation points. Why ten, is this happening? Ten plus extreme dice roll. These. Uh, this ten is a glitch in the system. Can this just? Okay, it's a thirteen. Yeah. Can we calm down? <laughs> it's still oh a really good roll. <laughs> Mo mother of mercy. Uh, yeah. Did I just blow every good roll I had for the day? Because I hope not. Well, I don't know how you managed to get a 31, but on 2D, uh, 21 yeah. on 2D6. Yeah. yeah, yeah, 21 on 2D6, which makes my head hurt, honestly, how that works. I don't know, Holy you guys. Really good stats. Damn. Have no. I ever mentioned that technology and I have a very strange relationship? So that's it's like an example. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as a matter of fact... <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, you you pause for a moment. You hear uh, off in one of the other rooms. You hear Cynthia holds up a fist and stops. Apex stops. She'll. Uh, snap her head back to the rest of the group. Eyes are uh, 
going from blue to red and she like her eyes with her other hand and points in the direction of wherever she heard the sound from. I'd like to think hey. this. You said she found something, Gov. Apex nods and works his way to the corner of the door by keeping his back to it, ready to kind of lunge and pounce in. Get ready. I don't know what kind of animals might have gotten in here. Cynthia Retta is an assault rifle. Alvin gets into a boxing stance and I'll make my way up to where Cynthia and Apex are. Hey, buddy. She's talking to Gov. Do me a quick favor. Yeah. She holds out her backpack. Uh, being that you only have a wrench, and I hate to put it that way, but I need a little more control with the shotgun. You mind holding on to him for a second? Please be careful. Don't jostle him. Um. Uh, oh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Thanks so much. Sure. He'll like hold. He'll like hold his hands out and take it. Oh, his name's Is Phil, it... by the way. If you want to say hi. Oh. Uh, Phil okay. Gov, Gov Phil. Yeah, Phil, I know. We'll Phil, do better introductions later, is, buddy, okay? Is it like a button flap or like a zipper? Oh, it's just a backpack kind oh, of thing. Okay. Well, he'll you, just, he'll... you just sling on his back. He'll go to open it because he thinks you're talking to like a pet or something. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, um, um, uh -huh. he, doesn't, uh -huh. he doesn't like... Um, I'll talk. He might be up to it later, but right now, let's. Um, he doesn't like suddenly being looked at. <laughs> he kind of needs oh. to prep himself for it. Right. Yeah. No, I don't want to get like. Uh huh. Because I'm, I'm baby mole rat teeth to the face or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, no. Um, later. Let's. Um... Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not that curious. She just smiles real big at him, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna... Now, uh, you said this is in a room, this noise? Yeah. Uh, so the Alvin door is... appears... Door appears to be off of its hinges, and it's sort of just leaning. And Alvin is next to the door, and kind of so is Apex, and Cynthia's got a bead on it. Yeah, Apex Dude. is, like, standing against the door, kind of, like, waiting for anything to emerge from it. Like, if Cynthia opens fire and something runs out, Apex is ready to lunge. Okay, so, Cynthia, as you look into the room, uh, are you going to mm -hmm. enter the room, or are you just looking in through the... Apex is waiting uh... for any signal, if you want him to enter. Cynthia's gonna, like... Uh, tap her foot on the ground twice to see what kind of a reaction the sound makes. Okay. Uh, as you tap your foot on the ground, the sounds to stop suddenly. I'm going to real quick, I don't want to use my shotgun because I don't want to hurt someone, but I want to get my pistol and if something comes out of that door that someone misses, I'll be able to aim for it myself. Okay. Is there a piece of rubble nearby from this broken door, like a, a rock, a loose screw, a nut, anything? Mm, you could probably find a loose screw on the ground. All right, I'm going to pick up a screw, just kind of like look to Cynthia and like throw it blindly into the room, just trying to clatter it against something to see what kind of reaction it gets. Okay. Uh, roll. Hmm. I guess your choice of wits or, or body, depending. Well, if I'm choosing between those, I'm going body. <laughs> That's a 12. There you go. That'll there work. it is. Sure enough, you uh, actually managed to hit uh, a glass beaker that just completely shatters on impact. And Apex does the, like a tiny little fist pump to himself. The sound <laughs> starts up again, and it... And it seems to be heading over to the sound. And at this point, Cynthia, you see uh, not one, but four of the Wasteland's most numerous uh, carnivorous predator, the humble Radroach. Uh, These are massive cockroaches, bigger than Apex's forearm. They're about the and, size of a fat house cat. Or oh, a yeah. 
Some of them are even bigger, but these appear to be generally commonly sized. Uh, there are four of them as well. And they appear to be uh, attracted to that sound that Apex made. Um, Apex stands at the ready again, waiting for any signal. Cynthia holds up two fingers and puts them forward. Apex nods and just kind of like slinks his way into the room trying to find cover, uh, but keeping his eye out for what these things are. Okay. So you roll wits. That's an and eight. Cynthia's okay. gonna um, also get to a good position to be able to shoot the assault rifle from. All right, so you're just you're just setting up in case you get one in your sights. I'm guessing yeah. there's no immediate cover upon entering this room, so I have to scramble. Not the really. Zone. It's it's a bit of a smaller room, uh, but you you do manage to like hide it behind like a um, like a small desk area. You yeah, can sort of desk. hide most of your yeah. Um, and Cynthia's also gonna look back and look at them and hold up her hold up four fingers so that they know that that's there's something in there and there are four of them louise is going to switch back to her shotgun and sort of sidle up next to the door where she can see these things too but she's not going to go in just yet um uh, gov is just going to ready up his fists and just slowly make his way towards cynthia yep gov will uh just have the wrench raised above his head, ready ready to swing it at anything that comes near him. Uh, did I did I get a good look at the rad roaches as I was entering, or was you, my roll low enough that it was like I'm just kind of scrambled to try to find cover? You got a low. They're they're all facing away from you. Um, as you go in, you sort of bump like a bump like a can, uh, and it sort of rolls off into the distance, and it looks like. A couple of them got distracted and they stopped moving over towards the beaker. Oh, but they don't look like they're heading your way just yet. Okay. What do I know about rad roaches? Like, can they see? Like, if if I present myself as a visual target, would they recognize me immediately, or do I have to make a noise? Just given your history. Uh, knowing animals as well, you would absolutely know that rad roaches can, in fact, see. Uh, they react to vibrations better, uh, but they can see. And if 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 you present yourself, they uh, are carnivorous and they will attack you on sight. So the two that moved like a little like that are a little further away. For them, Apex is going to put his Deathclaw gauntlet to the ground and just kind of, like, skitter a couple of his fingers to make it sound like there's, like, or make it feel like there's small prey over here. Okay. Um, roll wits, then. That's a five again. My wits rolls, they fail me. So, your, your Deathclaw gauntlet is so sharp actually, that instead of tapping on the ground like you thought you were, it actually pierces a couple of inches into the wooden floor. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you as you wrench to pull out, you hear a <laughs> and it just, you've completely splintered this floorboard, and now all of the rad roaches are turning your way, and they're making their way towards you. Welp. And uh... Cynthia, you see the first one come into your line of sight. Do you, would you like to fire at it? Please. Cynthia? Yes. Can you not, Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, weird. Yes, I would like to fire at the bug. All right. In that case, let me just get some music going. Uh, as you raise your assault rifle... You unload into the bug. Be sure to subtract your ammunition as well. Um, okay. And let's see how you do. Roll body. 
this is the part I'm worried about. Bink. Oh, Oof. big oof. That is a, that is a six. Uh, and that is a six. Six or below is a fail. As you fire off your assault rifle, um, oh. one gets distracted uh, by the muzzle flash and turns to face you, and like a like a hor like your your old world sensibilities sort of flash into your mind briefly in the sheer horror of this giant cockroach lunging at you, getting up to your face as it takes a oh. chunk out of your synthetic skin uh, and you do take two damage. Oh, fun bunnies. All right. And as it, as it lands, it sort of hisses at you. Oh. Do I, in that situation, do we have any kind of like reflex? If if that would. Uh, so the way, um, typically we will all like in a combat scenario, we will all describe what we are going to do in a round, and then that will play out after we roll. Exactly. Okay. And you've okay. you've had your go, so now it is anyone else's okay. go. <clears throat> I'll Are any of the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and rush in. Um, the one that bit Cynthia, uh, that one is going right to Fist Town. Uh, okay. I, I am going to run up to it, and they're like the size of like... These are the size of, yeah, fairly fat cats. So like, I'm going to like, just do like a like get low and just uppercut like the rad roach with the power fist so like you know how you like 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 scoop like you're scooping a cat but instead right. of a scoop we are punching it we are punching the rad roach at like gotcha awesome. okay so you are you are scoop punching this rad roach yes uh, so you get low get low get low to the window uh roll body oh that is six these wow. red roaches are badass as it lands. Badass red roaches. So, uh, you actually were trying to, you trying to catch it as it was falling from biting Cynthia. Uh, it was still in midair. You were trying to punch it like into the ceiling, or something, and uh, you sort of miscalculate, and it lands right on your power fist. And from there, it crawls up your arm and bites you right in the side of the face, almost hitting your neck. But it gets a little bit of your ear and your cheek at a weird angle. And it takes a huge bite out of your flesh, and you take two damage as well. Oh, my God. That bypasses, uh, that, that bypasses armor and everything. But does shield come into play? Shield will reduce the damage by however much your shield re is. All right, but uh, it doesn't do uh, anything. It just bypasses it, armor. Uh... If you have armor, it goes to that first. Okay, okay. So... Really? The armor of his face! <laughs> yeah, you, you you sort of... You raise your shoulder up in time, and it just takes a bite out of out of your harness instead. All right. Who's Apex, going next? Uh, Apex, seeing the one rad roach, like, after the gunfire, like, zipping out of the room... He's going to grab the bottom corner of this desk he's hiding behind and just fling it as hard as he can at the wall, hopefully trying to kill one and maybe startling the other two. Okay. Roll body. Rolling plus body. That's an 11. That's an 11. Excellent. Slam. So this desk you were hiding behind, you just lean back with your leg and you kick it forward and... Uh, were you trying to get the one that was next to Alvin and Cynthia or another one? They're, uh, they're out in the hallway. I can't get that one anymore. I'm in the room. Okay. Yeah, you just... This one was distracted by the sounds of, of fighting, so it was running towards Alvin and Cynthia as well. And as it gets in the length of this table, you just kick it forward, and much like the ghoul, it's just a, it's just a splat uh, across the wall here and you have just completely exploded this one rad roach there are now three remaining uh, hop up into kind of a defensive stance keeping my eye on the remaining two rad roaches in the room egg salad egg salad 
Uh, right. So, who's going next? I'm the last one to go. Uh, so, uh, can I see? How many can I see? You can see, uh, well, you were out in the hallway with everybody else, so you can just see the one that... Well, I was in a position, it's sort of in the doorway a little bit, to see what was going on inside. Right, so you can see the one that's fighting Alvin and Cynthia, and the two more that are on their way as well. Uh, you can see all three of them for your from your perspective. Cool. Um, I'll aim for the one. I'll aim a shotgun at the one that's after Cynthia and Alvin. Uh, remind me how ricochet works again. Do so, I roll? A, do I roll attack? And if my attack is successful, I can basically roll it on top of that for the next thing. The way ricochet works, uh, is when you attack an enemy, you can. Uh, so after you make the, after you make the first attack, you can then roll strange, and on a result of ten or higher, you can do your weapons damage again to a to a target of your choice, whether it's the same or a different one. So Although, do I do yeah, sort of, the, the, attack? It needs, it yeah. needs a bit of it needs a bit of retooling because uh, yeah, some you, of these... you you added, you added this when I still had the old combat system. That is so right. Basically... So basically. So basically, you can just I roll deal your attack. Damage. Yeah, you can you can roll your attack and basically uh, try to hit two targets. Yeah, and whether you whether you hit or miss, you can roll this. Wait, so okay, I roll attack, and if the attack does damage, I deal no. that damage first, and then I roll again to attack to get another damage hit on a target it, of my choice. Whether you hit or miss, you can still roll for ricochet. Oh, so no matter what happens, I still have the choice of if that doesn't go well, I don't have to roll it. Right, but that is a bit of okay. a risk. Uh, okay, well, uh, remind me with a shotgun. Do I roll body? Roll body, yes. Yeah, almost all attacks are body. Uh, Unless they're not. Yeah, you can have specific perks that allow you to roll different things for attacks. Correct. Okay, rolling for a shotgun hit. Uh, five. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. So... We got terrible rolls today. No, kid. I ain't gonna roll. I ain't gonna roll on that. Well, this this cockroach well, you... is just completely decimating you guys. As it it, it you flings there itself, the cockroach of legend. You, yeah, this legendary cockroach. Uh, it flings itself off of Alvin's shoulder towards Louise. Uh, seeing the flash of the barrel go off. Uh. It just, it just latches onto your back and it rakes its mandibles down your back. And there's a huge uh, opening in the back of your shirt and a gash that starts bleeding. Uh, do you have armor? I should yes. say. Okay. Well, then that gets uh, that gets absorbed by your armor. You do take another two damage. Heck with it. You know what? I'm rolling ricochet. I don't okay. like this thing. Rolling ricochet. So. Roll 2d6 plus strange. Plus your strange. <sighs> six. Oh no. That's another six. Um. Uh, you choose yourself or an ally. I'll do myself. I still got some armor left. So that's okay, the rest so of my armor you... and two of my health. Uh, so. Well, no, it, it, you just take the two. Really? That's it? Because I rolled a, my weapon is a four. Your weapon oh, damage so doesn't wait. matter anymore. Okay. So just two more points of armor damage. Right. Uh, okay. As, as the, you, you catch an angle, uh, from, from a surface inside the room and some of the pellets come <laughs> right back towards you in almost a straight line. And one uh, skids by your cheek, and, and you get cut, and yeah, you do take another two damage. Apex hears a massive commotion going on outside, and is unaware if there's like one or other rad roaches that have come out of other hall, like other rooms now. So he realizes like these these ones kind of have to be dealt with. Uh, He's going to lunge forward at the closest rad roach and just try to like cleave its head off with his death claw. Okay, so you're going for another one that is not the legendary rad roach as well? 
<laughs> he hears this shit going on out there. He realizes he's in this, like he's in this room. He has to take care of these ones before he can get back out there. He's not turning his back on them. All righty, you've got two targets. Uh, so go ahead and roll body then. Yeah, I'm going after the closest one. Hiya, right. that's a nine. I'll take it. I'll Fair. take the damage with that. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, as these, for some reason, these red roaches are way stronger than any of the ones that you've seen out in the wastelands before. Those are all just, you know, just large bugs. But these, these ten, these seem to be a bit smarter, a bit stronger. And uh, as as you swing your arm towards uh, one of the closest rad roach, it gets its pincers into your arm. Uh, but you sort of flick your wrist downwards, and you just completely bisect it as it takes a bite out of you. You take two damage, yeah. but the rad roach is dead. All right, luckily they aren't working together, otherwise they'd both be attacking me at the same time. <laughs> oh no, we've well, learned how to form an alliance! That, that, is, that, is, that is a thing in this game. You can form enemies into a squad if it would make sense for them to attack the same target. That is true, but the way this layout, uh, layout of this room is, is they're both coming from, like, little opposite corridors. Gotcha. Yeah, so they're not right, close so... to each other at the current juncture, and uh, but the other one has noticed you. So Okay, I, I'm between the door and this one, then. After cl after uh, bisecting, it's should have should have done this uh, a little bit earlier, actually. Uh, so your your buddy Gov, he's got a wrench. Mm hmm. And hello, die hard dice. He's gonna go ahead and try and swing at the legendary rat roach that you are having so much trouble dealing with. With the wrench. Oh my gosh. And completely whiffs it. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 he just bonks the Rataroach on the head with the wrench. Uh, and it jostles it a little bit. And it turns around and leaps onto his face. And he's like, oh ah, my it's on me. Get it off me. This Rataroach is the one. <laughs> Oh like my god. It's past the Matrix. It's got like How red text happening? floating over its head. It's, yeah, right. it's, you, see it, you see it's level and it's just a skull. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, Connor, it's time. Okay. Oh. I, Alvin Bronson, am okay. going to go ahead and fight Radrar the Fourth, Emperor of Road <laughs> Oh my god. All right. So I want to do this is. Alvin is gonna just go whoo and Jen just like twist his entire body forward and punch straight down on the Rad Roche with just just power fist laid in hell. Like punch oh. trigger boom. Alrighty. Uh roll body. Alright. <laughs> Fuck my <laughs> John Wick Roach! Jesus! <laughs> Who designed this algorithm and why? <laughs> so well, it's, I it's, played it up in everything. Man, I really oh. have to thank you all for taking all the bad <laughs> luck for Prince Division next week. Yeah, thank uh, you. So I hope you all thanks me. I'm so angry. There is a reason so, they will outlive us. I'm so angry. <laughs> Don't talk to me, I angie. So the way this happens is you you know there there's a scene in Hajime no Ippo where okay. the character Mamoru Takamura <laughs> gets punched in the face by the world champion and he just completely slides his face off of his boxing glove with the blood and spit. That's what happens here. This rad roach, it feels like you made contact with it, and then it just slides off its carapace, and it does like two flips, lands on your head, and takes another chomp at you. You're gonna take another two damage. What the? Oh hell? My God. Right. Okay, someone just said Sefa roach, and it's really appropriate. If only we didn't have copyright issues, we could start playing that song. <laughs> Cock, 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 Oroche. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. Who's up next? 
Wow, oh, this goodness. is an incredible string of bad luck. Uh, we got, we got, we got the two, go we got the two gun again. wielders here. Who would like to fight Radrar the Fourth first of his name? We got uh, Louise and Cynthia out next. Cynthia, do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Cynthia's gonna try and turn to one that's far away from people as possible and take up a shot and do a go shot. Go for it. Roll body. I swear to God, roll 20. You hit this bug. It's a Oh th my God! It's a, <laughs> it's a six every time. If you would like to refresh your browser, you may. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm giving you that executive order, yeah, uh, or that that executive uh, executive sort of privilege. You can re reload your browser if you would like to try and reset the RNG here. That is another six for those listening at home. By the way, be sure to call out your rolls. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, it was definitely a six. Yeah, uh, I refresh. Give me but a moment. All right, I'm back. So. Um, Be sure to you mark off your me... ammo. Uh, yeah, no, I'm okay. not letting you roll again. Uh, this is happening. Uh, okay. So, cool. as much like the first Red Roach, this one takes the moment where the muzzle flash is going off. It leaps over the it leaps over the bullet from your assault rifle and just rakes its its it rakes its mandible down the side of your sleeve it tears right through your dress and uh you just have a big gash in your forearm now you take another two guys her I think eyes we... turn Sorry. crimson red because the dress has been torn and she the option stares to at run the bug. is available um -mm. no she's mad now okay guys <laughs> i think I, I think we might be fighting the pro tag <laughs> Well, maybe this is Fallout Roach Edition, but these are red. it's not happening that way. Gov is looking at you all like, how did these guys escape the arena? <laughs> he's oh, having, he's oh, having the same problem really? with the roach. Look, you two are fighting Marty as Roach Guard. They escaped the big slave trading rink in the state, and they're having trouble with four red roaches. <laughs> Okay, so I believe Louise is all we have left here. Okay, so both of these roaches are on them bodily. Uh, no, one, one roach is... is in the room with me. One roach is the fucking pro tag. Yeah, uh, one, one roach is being dealt with by Gov and Alvin, and the other is on Cynthia. Oh, uh, those he got are the past only me. Those are the only two that are. Yeah, he ran past you. Uh, okay, fair enough. It, it is actually on her physically. Yes. Well, that's not going to be good to shoot at, is it? Um, I'm going to flip I mean, my shotgun around in my hand, and I'm going to take a swing at that thing like my shotgun is a fucking baseball bat. All right, roll body. I don't want to try blowing her head off. That would not be friendly. Fair enough. The mechanics don't really work like that, but yeah, I agree. Seven, not hey. bad. Seven, Seven. That, is a, that is a moderate success. So It means you get it. Um. Hmm. You know what? You know what? You know what? What, Connor? This is, what? This is this is where this is going to come into play. So as you sort of bring up the, the your shotgun like a baseball bat, and you bring it down on this thing, you hear a <laughs> and just this off-white, greenish goo just gets splattered all over you from the inside of this thing's intestines. Oh, great. And that's when your pit boy starts to go... Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Would Louise... Louise knows what that means, right? That is your Geiger counter ticking, and you know yeah. that you have taken two rads. If you'll Ooh. notice on your sh if you'll notice on your sheet, ah, I I've added another health bar. All right, and she knows what that means, right? Of course. You all know what that means. You have been in the nuclear wasteland for long enough to know that radiation is a very real, very dangerous hazard that can take place here. 
She just kind of looks down at that. She's just like, oh, shit. You're Shut start- up, Phil, I know. You're starting to feel a little a little funny, but nothing happens at current juncture. Uh, since I attacked physically as opposed to shooting, I can't use ricochet on that one, right? I'm going to say no. Yeah. Okay. Though, did I kill it since it's squished, at least? It is dead. You do know All that right. it is dead. Yes. That's you, one. You I it. killed the legendary. Thank you. No, Bonus the legendary. Is, the legendary is still the one being fought by Alvin and and Gov. <laughs> I thought, you, no, it was, I thought the legendary no. was on Cynthia. Nope, uh, legendary is uh, is the one that just dodged a, pu- a straightforward punch by Alvin. Uh, speaking of which, has been continuously dodging. Speaking of which, it is now Gov's turn. He's gonna try and and take another swing at this at this rad roach. And fails spectacularly once again. Oh you know he's giving us he's, shit. He's, he's gonna like get killed. Twice now. You took all of his weapons. I broke. He's gonna one of die. His uh, and and it just takes a huge bite out of his out of his forearm as well. Um, it's there actually. You notice uh, a little bit of. Now that his sleeve's off, anybody who wants to can actually roll. Uh, actually, no. This would just be just be Alvin. Alvin, roll intelligence. So smarts. Or smarts. Got- yes, yeah, smarts. Eleven. Oh, I should probably fix the. Uh... There we go. Uh, eleven. Excellent roll. You see a bit of a patch of skin uh you know this is this can be common uh sort of patches of dead skin uh that hang off of ghouls that haven't quite fallen off yet Mm -hmm. except that patch looks healthy you've you've been around ghouls all of your life you've never seen something like that And you notice that as he takes a huge bite out of his forearm and <laughs> ruins the steel- perfectly healthy skin. Yeah, there's a big gash down it now. It's like no, ah, I'm bleeding here. Uh, and it is now the top of the round. Who would like to go next? I am so pissed at this bug. Ah, uh, Connor, I am going to tiger drop this fucking rad roach. <laughs> okay. All so, right. You hold down R1 and wait to press square. <laughs> and oh my god. Rolling. Oh. Eight. Yes. That'll work. I get some. So as Red as full of his name. Yeah, as he's as Gov is dealing with this thing. Uh, he sort of plucks it off of his arm and <laughs> throws it. Just he's he's not trying to throw it at you. He's just trying to get it away from him, and he ends up throwing it at you. Uh, it it sort of hits you in the face, and mandible first, and it deals uh, another two damage. Okay. But you you were ready for it this time, and you had the your fist cocked moving. back, yeah. and just with a thunderous, <laughs> uh, you. Uh, actually, no. The you don't take two damage. Uh, you you were ready for it this time, and as it gets thrown at you, just a thunderous crack as your power fist <laughs> unloads its its payload, and just a spray of rad roach guts completely erupts. All over you, and all over, um, and all over, uh, your buddy Gov as well. Um, and you start to hear once again. As you take, uh, one rad. Alright. Punch that roach into pieces. 
Uh, and notably, when you hear that sound, it seems as though Gov sort of breathes a sigh of relief. Like, huh, oh, that's good. Is everything mm. all right out there? Other than the fact that I've just fought four of the toughest rad roaches I've ever seen in my life, absolutely. I killed two. There were four out there. Mm. I must have killed the toughest one. I, I have no evidence of it, but I, I, I did it. I no, absolutely that, did it. That one was definitely the toughest one. Well done. Oh, thank uh, you, Apex. Appreciate it. Apex is going to look at the two roaches that he has in this room and see if any of them have salvageable, like, carapaces. Wits? You would know how to do this. Ten! Ten! Absolutely. Oh, now. Now. So, uh, seeing as how two of the red roaches have been completely exploded. Uh, yeah, I, you don't I, think you'll the... be getting anything from those two. However, the two in the room with you... Yeah, one that actually, I smashed and one that I decapitated. Yeah, actually three of the rad roaches just popped. Um, the one that you bisected with your Deathclaw Gauntlet, you can get, if you would like, uh, rad roach carapace. Um, and also, from all four of them, you can collect rad roach meat. I will collect four red roach meat, and a carapace. A common delicacy in the wasteland here, and we have no sound, so I'm going to boot this back up. <laughs> Excellent fight, you guys. <laughs> that was mm. that was very entertaining for me. I want to find who made glad. <laughs> I want to find who made this algorithm throttle them. <laughs> so as you all breathe a sigh of relief, uh, your foe's defeated. Uh, the red markers on your HUD no longer appear. These you take roaches. a minute. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. These roaches, they were bigger and smarter than usual. Louise kind of takes a look at the gunk on her and the fact that her thing was beeping. And she's like, I think I might have a reason for that. Yeah, Cynthia, you... would you do me a quick favor, please? What do you need, darling? Is there a way that Cynthia can get the backpack off of Gov without getting into that shit on it? Um, yeah, you can you can just the, your your backpack was luckily unscathed and and you you don't have to worry about any of the goop. Cynthia, uh, would you please my backpack, would you very carefully take it off of Gov and away, no offense, but I don't want Phil near any of that shit. No, Phil, Cynthia's gonna take you. You stay the fuck away from me right now. Uh, okay. I'll just take off this backpack here. No, no, let, let Cynthia get it, okay? Yeah. I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he was actually wearing the backpack for a little bit, and he, he takes it off and hands it over. She'll take it and uh, put it on. And she's also going to look at Gov's wounds as she comes up, studying. The hell are you doing? Don't worry, she's really good at fixing up people who got hurt. She know how to fix ghouls. Don't know till I try. Um, we're all uh, the same. We're all the same, more <laughs> or less, right? Well. Some of us require some special treatment. But, like, uh... uh he's, he's sort of agitated. He, he tears off the part of the green shirt underneath, uh, underneath his jacket, and you can now see his forearm. Uh, beginning to... The wound that he got from the Red Roach is closing on its own in front of your very eyes. Well, isn't that interesting? And pretty common for ghouls. Uh, those rad roaches are probably getting fat on radiation from the that machine in the nuclear medicine department. Uh, they were probably full of radiation. Uh, I'd recommend finding some rat away or something. Yeah, I was about to ask. Cynthia, hmm. you wouldn't know if there's uh, anything like that in this hospital, would you? I think I got some of that on me, too. 
She that stares very right. intently at the closing wound. There's no uh, Yeah, I'm sure we can find something along those lines. I can, I can help look. There's another thing I mean to ask you. I noticed your forearm. I oh. I never seen that. Is that? I, he leans really forward because it it's it, it to Alvin. It sounds like a personal question. Is that healthy skin on you? On uh, like is is that health? I've never seen ghouls who had skin healing. He sort of. He sort of gets a big grin on his face. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? That's what makes yeah. us Harbinger special. And he sort of uh, rolls his sleeve up, and he shows the rest of you if you care to look. Um, it is a Apex patch. Observes. It is a patch of completely healthy olive-colored skin. Huh. So. All the Harbingers have this, more or less. Are y'all trying to... Are y'all trying to fix being a fix being a ghoul? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... <laughs> he starts laughing. <laughs> fix being a ghoul? Uh, no. Quite the contrary. We're trying to convince other people to become ghouls. That's what the Harbingers are all about, Smooth Skin. We're the future. Oh. Hmm. Cynthia's eyes silver out a little bit. What advantages do you have being a ghoul? Oh, we got plenty. Uh, as you can see here, radiation heals ghouls. And the wasteland is full of that stuff. We're practically that... immortal because of it, too. Is we that don't age. Arm... Hmm? Is that why your arm healed up? Yep. Huh. Those, those rat roaches were probably full of radiation, and my wounds healed right up. I'm still a little bit hurt, but for the most part, I think I'll be okay. I see. So y'all try to make everyone ghouls. Is it a voluntary choice for other people? Well, sure. We don't go kidnapping people and forcing them into pits or something like that. That'd be weird. Yeah, I totally would be. But you know how it is. Ain't no such thing as a stupid question, right? Hmm. So so all y'all members were ghouls or people who chose to become ghouls of their own volition, huh? We're all ghouls. Yeah. Not a single smooth skin among us. And so it can survive in this new world. Well, God, I understand. I I'm understand a convert that. myself. No fooling. No fooling. Yeah. How were you converted? That's actually the story I'd like to go ahead and hear, too, while we're all walking along. He looks like he's sort of having a bit of an inner struggle. As if he doesn't trust you guys completely. I'd probably I'd rather not get into the specifics of it. It's a little uh, involved. The less people know about it, the better, you know? Otherwise, people will start coming looking for us and trying to put us down we're not trying to we're not out to hurt anybody we just want to survive pave the way for a new future for mankind you know i hear you it's just another way of, it, it's just it's like looking through another lens at it right well a bunch of bigots out in the wasteland think we're less than human but really we're the next step I've seen it. I figure that it's always my understanding that just humans and ghouls get along just on fine, too. I never understood why people got to go ahead and treat ghouls so mean. Trust me, I know the feeling. Gov. 
Yeah. Your boss man. What is he like? <laughs> he sort of gets uh you, you you can see he's got a smile on his face and he as he looks to the floor, his eyes sort of get a little misty. He's He's incredible. He's unlike anything I think anybody's ever seen. He's, for lack of a better term, almost perfect. He's what all of us yeah. ghouls should strive to become. What we can I... become because of him. Waver a little. How does he talk about the smooth skins? Well, you know, there's not a lot of good blood between humans and ghouls. He doesn't hate smooth skins. Most of us don't. Well, some of us don't. There's a lot of people who hate smooth skins because of the way that we ghouls were treated. But Bach, he he's got a way about him. He wants to succeed and he wants to see us ghouls succeed as well. Buck, you said? Shit, did I say that? Uh, it's all right. Hey, it's no hey, it's no trouble. Gov, it's there's a thin thing. line. I'm sorry, Alvin. Go uh, on. And that is that is Bach. B A C H. Got it. Like the uh, oh. as in Johannes. As oh, in no, Johannes I'm... Bach, yep. Oh no, I'm sorry, Miss Cynthia. Y'all go on ahead. Gov, the only reason I'm so worried is there's a thin line between wanting to convert people to something you care about and killing the opposition to get what you want. That's a good point. Weren't there factions like that beforehand? What are you trying There've to imply? There've always been factions like that. Bach isn't like that. He's been through a lot. I believe it. Absolutely, I believe it entirely. We all have. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like a stand-up guy. Guys, mind if we, um, Louise gestures, because she's feeling a little bleh. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. entirely. entirely. So, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that, Miss Louise. I got caught up in my own tales. <laughs> Some of us should start looking for Radaway. The others should find the machine. Yeah, sorry to kill the fun conversation, just... Phil's getting a little antsy. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're going to take care of it, kiddo. Ugh. Would I to reanimate. Would I uh, uh, Connor, would Cynthia know where Radaway would be in a hospital normally? Uh, yeah, you would actually. Uh, due, to, due to your whole stuff. Background. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, you would know exactly where it's being kept. And I'd, I'd say with a... a just, just go ahead and roll me like a, a a wits roll to see if you can in fact find any. Oh golly, okay. Because this place has been around for twelve. A while. Nice. Well, wow. I looked at the I looked at the computer before, so I know where everything is already. As a matter of fact, you find. A whole four pouches of Radaway. Uh, that is good for four doses. And you would know, uh, just so you can take it down in your notes, that one okay. dose of Radaway removes two rads. Okay. And where are they at? Uh, they would be... There's, there's like a... a sort of broken down cooler where they keep a lot of different fluids, most of which have since gone very rancid. 
Um, mm -hmm. But Radaway does not really have an expiration date. It is meant to flush the rads out of one system. Um, and all you... that activated charcoal. Well, it's true. <laughs> uh, so you What's go it? ahead. You go ahead and you take these four bags of Radaway. And good roll. Thanks. Um, real quick, also, well, it's more the thing of like, would um, I guess I should actually. Uh, actually, I'll ask this above that. Like, if I if we take the rat away, does it matter if we still have the gunk on our clothes, or do we need to get the gunk off, or it's basically it, took the rat away? Oh, were we were we you know, <laughs> radiationed again? Basically, it once once you take the rads, it it sort of runs its course. Uh, and just, you know, the it gets absorbed into the ambient radiation in, in everything. The gunk itself has a very short half-life. Yeah, exactly. So my intention uh, with that role would be to tell Louise, Alvin, and Apex where they can find, like, tell them the exact location of it, about how much was in the inventory and the computer... And that they should go take care of it, and that I would go get the machine with uh, Gov. Okay. All right, so, so between the three of us, we find the four pouches. Yep. You can distribute those however you'd like. I'll hold on to one, just in case. I will hold on to one. I will use one. All right. Uh, I am a little ratty. And it's it's a simple enough thing for you all. You've, over the course of your lifetimes, you've all taken some rads uh, over your lives. And you all basically, um, it's, it's second nature to you and how these things operate. Uh, you sit down in a chair and you uh, sort of, the end of the bag has a needle, and you hook it in there, and it slowly flushes into your system, and it will uh, flush out any and all rads that you have. And if you take the time to uh, Alvin, you can go ahead and remove up to two rads. Hooray! Can I only and... want to get rid of one. <laughs> I would like to get rid of both. Excellent. You just... Do you... You just clench your butt halfway through and keep the other red. It's like, no. Oh my like, god. The other you one sit... is a test. <laughs> you hook Good the luck, IV yeah. bag uh, into your arm and slowly but surely you also flush the two rads out of your system. Mm. Uh, the process is a little strange. Um... You know that Rataway is a very potent diuretic. Um, <laughs> in in some cases, it can cause nausea, diarrhea, stomach pains, and headaches. Uh, but for all of its adverse side effects, you know that this is worth it. Because you're worth it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to end up like Crab Hands Carl. He's got crab hands. Yes, for the next little bit here, you will be a bit more susceptible to sicknesses. Uh, mm -hmm. But you are, in terms of rads, you're both fine. Okay. <sighs> I never do like getting the rads in my system. Yeah, that was a full thing I did, punching a damn rad. Well, they normally aren't full of radiation like that, so... Yeah, yeah no. Well, it means we must be close to the machine. Not normally that big, either. I guess the more rads they have, the bigger they are. Something <laughs> like that. Something like that. Radiation does weird things. As you can see, he points to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin chuckles and goes, I, I, I get you. I get Apex you. looks down at his claw. Indeed it does. Uh, mm. uh, Cynthia, I think I'm going to take Phil again. All right, darling, here you go. Thanks. He's gonna be antsy. I'm okay. I'm okay. Just probably a little gassy. What? Hey. I mean, if you want to. Okay. Um, she looks at Gov. He's like, um, 
Phil would actually like to say thank you face to face, which she normally doesn't like doing. Ah, uh, okay, sure. She, re she reaches into her backpack and pulls out a skull. Ah, it is very geez. noticeable. It is very noticeable on the skull that there is a very noticeable bullet wound. She just holds it up and she's like, "Go ahead, kiddo." <laughs> that was super polite of you. Thanks. Well, obviously, he says thank you for, you know, holding on to him during that mess. She puts it back. She just smiles. Uh. Sure. And, and that's Louise and Phil again. Miss Cynthia, I have a question. <laughs> yes, Alvin. <laughs> Yes, Alvin just like going head to head. I appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> do y'all think the closer we get to this machine or component or whatever, the more radiation there's going to be? Well, you don't I think was actually going to recommend that you all sit behind while Gov and I take care of it, if that's all right. Oh, I know Gov can go ahead and patch yourself up. Y'all gonna be okay, though, Miss Cynthia? Does radiation oh, I'll be not fine. affect you? Ah, uh, I was meaning to ask. I didn't want to be rude, but... <laughs> Fuck. Doing that voice for long periods of time is not gonna be great. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Connor. <laughs> the Apex understands. No, I gotta... <laughs> I can't break your immersion. You just cough. <laughs> He just coughs and turns into Connor for a second. <laughs> someday I will he do a character a big... that is. I will do a character someday that is nothing but Rosalind from Monster Monster Inc. Monster Inc. I'm always thing. watching you. Always oh, watching. All you have, oh, to, God, do it hurts. Hurts. All you have to do is go through ghoul trans like transfusion therapy, and then you can do it. God, it hurt for the few seconds I did it. <clears throat> so, uh... <coughs> fuck. <laughs> what was language. the question? I completely forgot. I was going to you, say. You were going to ask a question. Right. My question. Um, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't think I can do that anymore. Oh, God, man. This is a, oh, man. This is a watch. <laughs> She watches as he coughs and does the word. So what, so what are you? Do you need some tea? Yeah. Answer the question while I go get some water. I'm a synth. A what? A synth. A synthetic. I'm not a human anymore. Or I guess. Mm, no, I, um, I am, but not. I think that's the first time any of you have heard that term. A uh, synth? A uh, synth. I never synth. heard of that. Louise whispers mean? little quiet. Louise whispers slightly quietly. Not. I don't. Not. I'm not sure about that. But. You mean, what do you mean you're not a human anymore? <coughs> well, I was once, <coughs> or part of me was, not all of me. Long time ago, I suppose not that long, in the grand scheme of things. I was a human once. I woke up and uh, now I'm a synth. <clears throat> oh. Um. Ah. Uh. I ain't never heard of anything like that. Yeah, did you, me neither. You, did y'all used to be a did Did y'all used to be a nurse before you became a a synth or how it happened? You You remember? Was it like a Oh, golly, it ain't like a sickness or something, right? If it was, maybe that's why you came a nurse or something. I was a nurse in the war. The war? The war long ago. Wait, you mean 
Yes. Oh my stars. Oh shit, you mean that one. Yes, that one. Apex is confused. Apex, she's from before all this happened. Like, this place was clean and it was probably full of folks and whatnot. Like, there must she, have been, like, yeah. I'll tell you what, there probably weren't no rad roaches back then or something. I'll tell you what. But... She uh, pulls on the synthetic skin that's been bitten a little bit. And points at her eyes. Surely you've had some idea. I, I'm the type I, of person that wears her heart on her sleeve, so to speak. I'll be honest. I had an inkling that you weren't like human son. I thought you were just some kind of. Well, there might be different kinds of ghouls or something, right? So, like, I, I didn't know or not, but. Even when I fixed you up and whatnot, I I had an inkling. Maybe had like. I'd be I, shocked if you didn't, dear. I ain't never seen no ghouls like that. I'm telling you, I'm but not a ghoul. Yeah. She, yeah, she. I'm a machine. Yeah, you're a synth. I heard you. Well, that's what. Well, that's why it was probably a lot easier for me to go ahead and fix you. Well, I. Which I'm grateful for. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. I couldn't tell you how to fix some of the more delicate stuff, but the outsides I can fix them. So you're some kind of super robot or something. In a way. Oh, were y'all okay. were were from around here? Oh, there are parts from this area I remember, but things are a little muddled. Um... Not the only one in here. Wait, you're not the only one in here? Is that why you were acting all strange and you were calling me Captain earlier? You have multiple souls. Not quite. Well. Um. Maybe it's like a Robco terminal, like different, like pathways or something. But golly, who that is memory? That, that, that memory, maybe. Got you have other people's memories in there? Something like that. I was a prototype. First of my kind. I'm telling you what, if we at the machine shop would like to go ahead and just No. Take, Make okay. a Make an intelligence uh, roll, Cynthia. That's uh, wits? Uh, smart. Or smart, smart. Oh, this this oh, would it'll be, be the wits. Same. This, would be, this would be wits oh. anyway, so yeah. It'll be the same either way for me. 11. You know that you were the first, but you are not the only one. There were two more. I didn't mean it. The first of three total. Get out of town. So there's two other people that are like you somewhere. I don't know what their stories are like, but mine wasn't pleasant. Mm -hmm. I had an episode on waking up and I had to leave quickly. You hear Louise very quietly say, I'm not asking that. It's not the time now, Phil. I I don't want to go ahead and press you on that. That's mighty personal for you, I can imagine. But thank you. It it thank you, Cynthia. It does kind of stab at respect of a couple of things for me. I like I said, I I, I knew you weren't human or whatnot. I was just trying to be polite to you, you understand. I I, I hope you know. I shouldn't I, I, really be talking this much in front of new company but i suppose the world is the way it is well like they always say familiar environs makes it so it's easier to tell a story and i bet you you 
from the way you're acting, maybe something like this place was familiar to y'all somehow? I got a lot of memories from a lot of different times. Well, I'd like to hear about it more someday. But for right now, and I'll look over at Gov, uh, back to Cynthia, I guess you two are going to go ahead and try to go deeper down in there? Yeah. Uh, seeing as how you're a synth, and you probably can't get any rats, and I get healed by them, so hooray. Doesn't affect me any. Well, that's Louise, good. you can ask me uncomfortable questions. Uh, it's more corny than anything. Phil wants to know if that's why you're called Cynthia. Not at all. I was actually my name. I would best see I told you. It's my name when I was alive. And it was my name before I woke up, too. There's more than one, but they're both named Cynthia. Hmm. Huh. Are they, were they human before, too? No. Wow, this is a lot to take in. Al Alvin, you like a desk or something? I feel like this is uh, a bit over my head. Yeah, I'm gonna I, go get the, get the I, machine. Yeah, no, I think that's. I think let's that's do that, shall we? Okay, as both you and Gov uh, head on down the hallway uh, to a set of double doors that says Radiology Department. This is where we're gonna take a break. Yeah! Uh, break time! Dee -dee 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 -dee. Ugh, I got it. That dis go get it's some that go get some tea, Connor. It's that disconnect yeah. again of not having diabetes cat here, because Noel will be like, I gotta go feed the cat. Oh. oh. Now you can I guess oh. the cat that is yeah. yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some water. Woo! Get something to drink would be pretty pretty wow. well good. I was doing okay until I wasn't. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, no, are you doing okay? <laughs> like, no, that feeling. Yeah, all of a sudden it was just like, "Hey, want to hear something cool?" <laughs> <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Hey there, honey. <laughs> you ever doing a briefcase before? Oh. <laughs> no. Remember that one, Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Fucking hey there, baby. Fuck you ever doing a briefcase before? <laughs> <laughs> Hell oh my god. <laughs> uh... Oh god. Those oh, were the days. <laughs> and you always remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? You never seen all in the family? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Oh god. I'm going to get something to drink too. Okay. Hi, chat. Oh my god. Wow. Hello. <laughs> robot. I'm not a robot. I could be a robot, though. I can be a robot if I want to. You know? Beep, beep. And stuff. Can we hug Cynthia? Yeah. I'm good, fearless monster. <laughs> busy, busy week. Hi, Caitlin. The memes from Rad Roach Fight are straight fire. <laughs> oh, no. Are they already... Tex House Sriracha. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, y'all. The Discord memes channel is. Oh no! Sephiroth, first of his kind. <laughs> right oh the my god. Wow. Yeah, you were not kidding. The Discord. Okay, wow. Oh my god, you even chopped the hair on him? <laughs> what the heck? This is amazing. I'm back. Oh my gosh, Nick, go look at the Discord. The memes for Sephiroth are amazing. 
Uh, I'll so keep my eye on it the whole time. I love him. First of his kind. High string. The robot that roboobs. <laughs> Cynthia's an angel, not a robot. We don't know. Hello, boobs. McBallroog. Hi, Peace Pipe. Why'd you Hello. just drop this bomb? <laughs> How's the getting the um out of your vocabulary? I'm still struggling. String, I've been reading a lot about um see there's an um i've been reading a lot about synths i played some of the fallout games in the past but you can be a robot if you want to you can leave your friends behind i think the only fallout games i played were the first three well i also played fallout tactics so Sounds yeah right. I played fallout one two tactics and uh three and I didn't even beat three. I got like halfway through three and I'm like, I'm sick of just walking across this hill. <laughs> I'm bored. Oh, Spectre Fall. Okay. All right. Here's the situation. I have a tiny friend that sits on my desk. And if you type into your Google search bar on your computer screen, Mochi Ding Ding Squishy Toy. You will know what my little friend looks like. He's a little mochi ding ding. He's a little mochi ding ding, and I love him. And I laughed for ten minutes straight when I saw it for the first time. I should see if I should see if New Vegas or something is on Good Old Games after this. And that's what it was about. And then boobs came up because um, Sarah is in a show, and a trailer came out for the show Adachi and Shin Shimamura, I think it's called. Uh, and Sarah plays the grabby hands character. That's that. So that's what was going going on. Fun. Oh, I don't. I don't have a plushie. I have. I have like a kind of like fleshy, squishy, little tiny thing. Not a plush. Yeah, yeah. N not safe for work. Search warning. <laughs> I sh really should have said that in the beginning. Are, are you looking? At, are you looking it up for your job? <laughs> You'll be fired. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got a piece of licorice. Yeah? And I don't know why I did that. Oh, yeah, that sugar's not going to help you. Fallout uh, New no, Vegas it's also and... licorice, and it's disgusting. Fallout <laughs> New Vegas and all of its DLC is 20 bucks on Steam right now. Oh, fuck yeah. Huh. Holy oh. cow. I've, I've been looking about maybe game. going and streaming some of that. Connor, maybe very maybe. important. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, have you had Australian licorice? Oh, that shit's great. That I try to avoid licorice at all costs. No. Okay. Australian licorice. There's is a big difference. Different experience. I've never had Australian licorice either. Does it get you high? No, just, not it's, at all. It's, it's it's much denser and more flavorful. It tastes less it's, waxy. Yeah, it's very dense. It's very chewy. Imagine like getting nothing but the red gummies mm -hmm. in anything. And then, like, make it, like, 30 times thicker, and then you, like, chew on it. That sounds good. It's is it, delicious. Is it red licorice? There's red, and then there's the black as well, but there, I think... If the red yeah, bl black licorice if you're into Jaeger. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, I like black licorice, personally. But, Connor, that's funny, because, like, I'm the same way, like, with you with licorice. I'm that same way with candy corn. I hate candy corn. <laughs> and every time I fall, I look over and I just have it in my hand. I'm like, son of a bitch! And I throw it on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Which is weird because I love candy corn. Oh. We're kind of a, we're kind of a different cloth. <laughs> Which means you guys can pass Halloween candy back and forth. It's true. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. Mail me all your licorice. I will mail you all my candy corn. <laughs> yeah, we can, oh, we can trade oh, candy. What? Be bad. <laughs> We can trade candy when I'm sleeping on your couch. Hooray! Aww, friendship. Exactly. I sleep on right, couch. Read off a couple of in between bits here. Hey, Bella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, David. <laughs> David, <laughs> boy, thank you for the 100 bits. You're not dealing with the average Rat Roach anymore. He has risen <laughs> and become a legend. The legend oh. that you fear. He has become the legendary Super Rat Roach. Oh, boy. I Impossible. will be right back. 
Spectre Fall, thank you for the 100 bits. Well, time to make a drawing, Seth Roach. Spectre Fall, thank you for the additional 100 bits. <laughs> Seth Roach, I will never be a memory. And you definitely won't be forgotten. Thank you for the 100 bits. And the additional, additional 100 bits. That was definitely the toughest one. Then you have to fight another one that's even tougher. <laughs> oh, no. Then you have to fight his big brother. Big Peace Pipe, thank you for the 150 bits. Can I get a small shout out for my mom? She listens to the Unexpectables, Prince Division, and Gateway. I managed to get her interested in D&D streams and podcasts a couple of years ago because of certain DMs flowing main. Oh, well, hello, Miss uh, Miss or Mrs. Big Peace Pipe 97. <laughs> hello, Big Peace Pipe's mom. How you doing? Mom. Glad you yeah, enjoy the shows. Doing? How you doing, Mama Pipe? Mama Pipe. If you're looking for another one, check out Roll With Me. It's Mondays on my channel. Is someone's mom here? Twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Yeah. Connor's in that too. So is Caitlin. Yeah. Spectre Fall 99. Thank you for the uh, additional, additional, additional 100 bits. Uh, if Roaches were in <laughs> Dead... If Roaches were in it, it would be Dead House Roach Anada. That was the last one for the night. Good. It uh, seems like you're running out of steam. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> seems like you're running low on ammo there. Yeah. Travis A. Carey, thank you for the 100 bits. We can celebrate the victory over Sephiroth by beating a paper mache horse filled with red colored shirts with sticks. But okay. Viridian winner, thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> if it were, if it were a beer with clamato, it would be Dead House Chilada. I fucking. How did I come back to a pun already? You, you are, you are, you like, cause that's what, that's what the bit drops are now. I, I imagine, life. I, I imagine you're just gonna. Connor, message, read the bun. I imagine you're just gonna message with Dev after this and go like, release it now, free. <laughs> Do it, uh, Magic Maybe. Ninja. Go, I miss Kirby more. Thank you for the ten bits. Take care of that throat, Distortion Devil. I will. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Connor, no uptick on the Metrolink counter so far, but how does it feel to know what it feels like to do a, the Burnout voice for MNW? Yeah, enjoy that. I just thought that was your regular voice, to be perfectly honest. Mick Dave, or Mike? Mike Dave? Mick Dave? Mike Dave? Thank you for the 100 bits. At first, I thought Cynthia was having a PTSD episode mixed with minor signs of dementia, but now, I don't know. Good. Continue guessing. Good. Protoss 103, thank you for the 100 bits. I remember the first time playing Fallout 3, I ran into a death claw at the Super Duper Mart, being a level 4 and using a 10 millimeter pistol, thinking I could take it. Ha! You got your ass killed, didn't you? You can't! It has the word death in its name! <laughs> and also claw! C. Vanders, thank you for the 100 bits. The Undead <laughs> Racing Sailboats, Dead House Regatta. I think we had that one already. Pyrotic mm -hmm. Napalm, thank you for the 50 bits. Have you guys tried saltwater taffy? I have. It tastes like yes. nothing. I love it. I, I love I saltwater taffy. Depends popcorn. on where you get it. It's true, yeah. The Carolina saltwater taffy, best ever. I, I do I had like... I all the time when I was a kid. Because I, I do like... A little bit. Yeah, I do like cherry-flavored taffy a whole lot, though. It's very good. I uh, like candy. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, give me uh, more candy. I just had some caramel corn. Well, it's not really good. It's hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate, it. hot chocolate caramel corn. It's awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Resmu, thank you for the 100 bits. Question, is this before, during, or after Fallout 4? Uh, it takes place during the same year that Fallout 4 takes place. Uh, so I guess during? There you go. There you go. Uh, big peace pipe 97. Thank you for the 40 additional bits. Doot, doot, da doot. Spectre do, fall. Thank do, you for do, the do. additional, 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 additional 100 bits. I'm running out of steam. I'm not reading that one. Thank you what for the 100 say? bits. Nope. No, what does it say? <laughs> nope, not reading that one. What? 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 No, I don't you can, you can, oh, you can scroll, you can scroll friendly. up. You can scroll up and check the bits yourself if you want to see that now one. I'm understand. not reading it. Zen Lita, thank you for the okay. 200 bits. If there's no escape, uh, you can use gun food. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> if no. There's no, uh, there is no escape. If you can use gun foo in the game, it would be called Dead House Gun Kata. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that that aren't you glad we kept going? I want to be like the ghost from Equilibrium. Yes, that sounds great. Sloth, thank you for the 100 bits. Jack Kate. the Crow, thank you for the 100 bits. Another bitty on me. Ah. Hellfang oh. Wolf, thank you for the 95 bits. If you played as a dead man controlling, <laughs> read it. I had to. I had to. I had to no, I I just got confused <laughs> halfway through. Forfeited. If if you play a dead man controlling a mech, it'd be called Zone of the Ender Second Runner. <laughs> oh my! God. Oh, that one had All right. Okay, that was okay. that was a good one. <laughs> I like that one. Shout out to my boy Hideo Kojima for holy fuck brain. Uh, uh, Protoss, thank you for the forty-five bits. I hated the death clause in New Vegas. What's everyone's first death claw encounter? Um, Fallout three. Yeah, same here. I died. It was hiding. It was the one that was hiding in a, in a in a box. It was my first encounter with a death claw. Yep. Uh, and Spectre Fall. Thank you for the additional, 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 additional one hundred bits. You made me, Connor. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And Sorry, with Kevin. that, let's what get the... back into a gateway. The gateway. So, uh, Cynthia, you have gone with Gov to this big double doors uh, that say radiology. Uh, and there are definitely warnings for uh, radiation plastered all around this. And a uh, red tape sort of border around the door. That's marked off as sort of like a safety zone. Okay. Well, if it's gonna be in here, it's probably behind these doors. <sighs> All right. She'll uh, take off her hunter's rifle with the strap and hand it to him. Okay, and he takes it. She'll rip the tape off and uh, slowly go in, listening intently. Okay. Uh, roll wits. Seven. As you keep an ear out around this... Uh, around this room uh, and as you open the doors you don't believe you hear anything other than just the gentle okay. hum of emergency lights okay seems clear shall we uh, let's and you two walk in What's everybody else doing? Uh, Apex is scavenging whatever the uh, hell else he can in this hospital uh, while trying to keep his ear open for any firearms going off down the distant hallway. Okay. Uh, where would you like to scavenge? Um, I've been scaven like scavenging kind of around the area where we were left, maybe like a little further ahead, like any of the offices and storage areas for like a little further down the hallway but not far enough that we'd be getting into radiation territory gotcha so would you would you go to a different floor to search as well no i'd stay on this floor because i'm keeping my ears open for gunfire and stuff anything that he might need to run towards gotcha uh go ahead and then roll wits for me <clears throat> Uh, this place has been pretty picked clean. Roll the six. Yeah, you... This this big building probably attracts a lot of looters. Uh, and yeah. you just... You can't seem to find anything of real use here. <clears throat> P. 
picked clean. Meanwhile, uh, Alvin, what are you up to? Um, it's me and Louise in the side room right now, right? Yeah, you're both sort of dealing with the after effects of taking that rat away and having it flush the radiation out of your systems. You feeling a little all right after taking that rat away, Louise? Louise is dead. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, Louise, no. Sarah? Sarah, you here? Oh. I was talking and then I realized I was muted. Uh oh. Because I went, didn't want to interrupt when Kayla was doing her thing with Gov. Uh -oh. All I was yelling was nothing. I'm so sorry. All right. I will ask the question. I will. I'm <clears throat> Thank you. Louise, you, you, you feeling a little better after taking that rat away? Uh, it's like the really not fun kind of hangover, but yeah. Yeah, no, it, it ain't great, but we've all done it a handful of times. Uh, so, tell you yeah. what, uh, here, sit down next to me. I, I, I'll try to fix up your armor. I, I bet you a big place like this might want to go ahead and do some of that scavenging like to do or something, right? Yeah, that'd probably be that a good idea. Take, that's going to take your mind off of... Whew, everything we heard, tell you what. <laughs> uh, thanks kindly, Alvin. Yeah, no trouble, no trouble. I just want to make sure you're doing good before I go ahead and take a look at mine. Let's see, I will do my can we fix it thing. Uh, and I will roll my smarts. Oh boy, here I go doing the big brain. <laughs> Twelve. Ooh! I rolled it's so good! Excellent. Uh, what were you trying to do again? <laughs> Repair was, her armor. I was trying to fi I was trying to fix up her armor before. I okay. Went ahead and, uh, and and what does that ability you have say exactly again? Given the proper space, equipment, and time you pay, you may repair gear or other devices. Roll smarts on the result of 10 or higher. Device gear is stored gear for additions in a day. Result 7 to 9, target gear stored over 25% of his armor in that time frame. Or take up to a week to fully repair and may require additional resources to fully restore. Result 6 or less, object beyond your current capabilities to repair and may need to be scrapped for resources or brought to a better equipped facility. I need to truncate that a little. <laughs> yeah, you do. But I am a fast reader. I worked in office buildings. So... <laughs> so it'll the take, gist of that so, is we can fix that within a day. Yeah, the gist of that is, uh, yes, uh, Louise, your your armor gets healed by twenty five percent of its total value. Oh, only twenty five. Um. Yeah, so that's like getting a point or something like that back up. How much armor did I... you start with? Uh, my max is five. <laughs> I'll be generous and say with that with with that roll, uh, you you get two back. Okay, that puts me back at three. And I will have a conversation on fixing up uh, upper stuff and whatnot. So, he's just grabbing some, you know, some of that handy glue and stuff like that. So, stand still now. Uh, so, golly, I can't get over that. Like, I, I knew when I fixed up Cynthia, like, it was not one right about her. I was just trying to be polite about the whole thing. I hope she doesn't look at me all south about that. Nah, don't think Cynthia's the type for it. I mean, yeah. you're right. I sense something about her was a little different, but... <laughs> I mean, I scavenge all over the place. You tend to see a lot of kinds of people. I mean, I saw I mean, I saw her with the glowy eyes and whatnot, and I was just like, you know what? Let's not ask questions about the glowy eyes. <laughs> I mean, there are all types out here, you know what I mean? To be fair... Cool. Phil thinks the eyes are kind of cool. I think he's got a little crush on her. I'm, I'm not taking it back, kid. The eyes are kind of cool. You can tell that. To, you can tell that to Phil too. I'm telling you, boss man and me would love to go ahead and just tell her all, ask her all kinds of stories about the pre-war and whatnot. That would mm. be just. That would be the best. To be fair with you, no wonder she was talking about. What was that thing she talked about like back in the diner? The soda soda shop or something like that i've never heard of something like that you ever heard something like that uh i can't say i have so, phil's absolutely bouncing now wondering if she can maybe help him with that reuben sandwich thing uh, she might know how one's made I, i'm telling you what though 
I'll tell you what, go ahead and uh, wiggle your arm, make sure I got the joint fixed in. That's that looking good? Yeah, that's, that's real good, thanks. Yeah, no trouble. Where'd you get that armor at, anyway? Looks real nice. Oh, more scavenging. I've been, around, been at it for a long time. I think this piece has been with me for about six months. I'll tell you what. How about you and me go out and whatever way Apex went, we go the opposite way, just a little bit, but let's be safe about it. But let's go ahead and try to see if we can't find something else. Maybe I might find some, like, some more metal or whatnot I can go ahead and stuff in my bags. It might help me fix my armor, too. Lord knows that might have ride rush coming ahead and knit my harness twice or two. She kind of claps her hands together and rubs her palms. Let's do it. Sounds fun to me. Let's get going. Okay, so you two are exploring? Yep. Excellent. Is there, is there any way on the anywhere on the wall that has like one of those basic sort of like directory maps? Yeah, you know what? Uh you would without having to roll, you would you would easily find one of those. You would see that if you're if you don't leave the floor, you would be on you would still be in the radiology department. <clears throat> Specifically, right now, you are in the nuclear medicine wing. And... Uh, yeah, there there are a couple more places that you can go. Hang on, I'm looking up my, my own map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map! <laughs> oh my god, a talking map! <laughs> no, no, it's just Phil being an ass. Stop it! <laughs> Does the backpack song too? There is a in this building. There is a sleep center, uh, a breast care center, a pharmacy, and a heart specialist. Did office. you say breast care special center? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the boob part of the hospital. The boob yeah. hospital. Hot Booby titty, hospital. Warm titty. Yeah, they call. It, yeah, they call it the boob bastion. Uh, is the pharmacy on a different floor? The pharmacy is on the bottom floor. Mm. What's on this floor? On this floor, it looks like it is the nuclear medicine and heart hospital part. Uh, but and it, we're it, it, in it the would, nuclear part. Cardiology, yeah. You, uh, judging off of this map, you would know that you are on the opposite end of of the hospital where the heart cardiology, uh, where the cardiology department is located. Cardiology, te telemetry. Mm. Louise will reach out a finger and sort of tap on the pharmacy. Be like, for our money and traveling, it might be good to see if we can get some meds in there. But if we go down to a different floor, I want to get Apex to go with us first. That'd probably be a sound idea. Let's go. Oh, and she'll around. tap on though, and she'll tap on the cardiology center. Wouldn't hurt to check that area out since it's on the same floor anyway. I see to be a dab hand at this. Uh, me and the me and my crew, we just you know went ahead and found scrap around what have you. That's about as far as scavenging as we did. We ain't never went ahead and good. We never had much of a mind of where the good stuff might be. To use a phrase. Well, even where the good stuff is, you got to keep your head, not, head on a swivel because you never know what might be down there. Sometimes you take what's closer and more convenient just to be safer about it. Yeah, that makes sense to me. How long have you been doing this, Louise? You seem like a dab hand at it. <laughs> well, I think since I was 15, maybe. You kind of had to go, you kind of had to get, make yourself useful quick, otherwise you weren't much use. And there were a lot of people that need to rely on a lot of other people to make that city, to make that town work. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think I got into working on machines when I was real, real young. Boss man had me working on small stuff about, God, I can't even remember the years. I was little though. I, I barely fit into this jumpsuit. <laughs> oh, you would have, you would have been real useful in my town. Oh, Anybody no. who can do the, the things you can would just have been like right up there. Oh, we, well, that, yeah, no, if we ever go, go back that ways, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and take a look at your stuff. Over at Riverside, we, I mean, with me and the, me and Boss Man and the others, we're really good at fixing up all, all kinds of 
all kinds of things. Though, I'm sure we have our own share fare problems too, but boss man always told me we try to make Riverside the nicest, most welcoming place we possibly could for what it's worth, so. Yeah, I'm out here in the first place out of necessity, as it were. I get you. Well, like I said, if we ever swing that way, I'll teach you how to go ahead and fix up a couple things, and you might be able to teach me how to survive out here, because I'll be right real with you. I, I have never been this far out, and the wasteland is a little confusing sometimes to, when you have alien environs like that. Shit, I can teach you my stuff on the way. <laughs> no, I'm not going to turn down your help if we get back to where I'm from. There are plenty of things we could have improved. Oh, well, sounds like a fun deal. I guess I'm here for my first lesson then. Where, okay, so how do I be a good scavenger first? You leave. <laughs> While you're saying that, you just hear like Apex flipping over like a glass countertop somewhere, just looking for shit. <laughs> Empty. Is Where? he very, is he super loud? Where is cheese sandwich? <laughs> From from your is position, he... it would be it would be pretty loud, and you would also hear Apex grunting. You you've heard him. <clears throat> uh, well, it's also hardly a workout. He's making a noise anyway. <laughs> hey, Apex! What? I kind of wanted to go check out the pharmacy and get some supplies. You come with? Where's the pharmacy? First floor. I think I'll stay on this floor until they return. In case they run into trouble near the machine. Oh, well, we don't exactly want to go without you. So, if that's the case, we're gonna head over to the radiology department, um, the cardiology department. That's on this floor. Okay. I don't know what that is. You hear another crash. This one's <laughs> empty too. There's a map over where I'm calling you from. If you need to find us, come over and look at it. Okay. Okay. Be safe. Well, y'all be safe too. We'll betide the man that goes ahead and crosses him. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, there's your answer. Let's uh, I'd say let's play it a little cautious and just uh, stay on this floor and we'll see what we'll find here. I'll follow your lead. All right, let's head that way. All right. All right then. And away oh, we go, Connor. Excellent. So you are heading to the cardiology department? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. As you make your way to the cardiology department, it's just pretty much a straight shot away from uh away from the where you are at right now in the building. Um looks pretty turned over, pretty well turned over like uh Probably a lot of people have been rummaging through here before. Um, but yeah, you managed to make your way in. Um, and what specifically would you like to look for? Hmm. If when any, we came I, in here, just I can ju I can go ahead and just give you something if you roll well. Or if you want to look for something specific, you certainly can. I'll, I'll turn to Alvin. I'll just be like, well, first and foremost, it's nice to have something relatively specific to be looking for. Seems like we got a lot of machine bits and stuff in here. Got anything that might be helpful for your glove or anything? Machine bits would be good. If I could find... Let me check my tool belt. I'm running low on some lubricant I used to go ahead and fix the... Uh, go ahead and fix the hydraulic struts that's the part of the power fist that makes it go boom uh but sometimes you gotta go ahead and keep it all lubricated like when you go ahead and like punch up a bunch of nair wells and whatnot sometimes the gun gets stuck in there and that can go ahead and seize up the mechanism sometimes so i would like to go ahead and find some of that if we could also go ahead and try to find some salt and whatnot maybe some if there's some scrap metal laying around i could use that to go ahead and fix some stuff in a jiffy uh, you said a lot of machines around here, too. I noticed that with the computer. If we can go ahead and find some components or whatnot, that might be good trading. Mm hmm All right. Let's say, if you look at any of the machines, obviously avoid the burnt-out-looking stuff. We're not going to get much out of those for the most part. You'd be surprised, actually. Hmm. 
I mean, and again, I suppose we have more time. I tend to run, I tend to run on tight schedules, so sometimes I don't have time to look at too close at things. But yeah, why not? All right, I'm gonna roll scavenger. And All right, you're rolling I, scavenger. I, so, mm-hmm. scavenger. Once per day, you may roll wits. Uh, on a roll of ten plus, you find exactly what you're looking for in your current circumstance. On a seven, a nine or seven, you find something that has some value but may not be immediately useful. And on a six or two, you find nothing or something that is completely useless. Hey, here we go. Excellent. So you were looking for lubricant or computer parts? Yeah, uh, yes, I was in the market for looking for uh, some either some scrap metal lubricant to go ahead and help with the struts of my power fist. A Twenty gallon drum of lube. And the <laughs> thing that'll help and the thing that'll help us win the game? Huh? <sighs> yes, the sword of Aerocrus! It, it turns out that the, the end game item was right here all along. <laughs> Uh, and the cre- credits yeah. roll. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The sun is yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Uh, Gateway is now officially oh. over. Uh, oh. Thank you so much for it. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> but to clarify, oh. I'm looking for stuff to either like help fix armor, uh, stuff to go ahead and just help maintain equipment, things of that nature. Can't believe you found the platinum chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can make so, another. Ship. We found the computer that tells us it's all a simulation. Interestingly enough, Al Louise, while you are looking around, you do happen to find a tub of meta lube, uh, medical grade lubricant. You she also finds it she finds it, lifts it over her head, and turns to Alvin like she's got a freaking keg. It's like, <laughs> It's it's not it's not like a huge thing. It's like a it would be like the equivalent to a jar of peanut butter, but did not know how that was gonna end. Glad it was peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter flavored medical lube. There you, go. Uh, you find that and also you do pick up a, a bunch of scrap that you can use to sort of cobble together your armor as well. Mm-hmm. As well, Louise, uh, sort of powering this wing over here, you hear a humming from one of the rooms, uh, and you see a large nuclear fusion generator being powered by a fusion core. Uh, okay, um, being a I'm scavenger, you just. Sorry, go ahead. Being a scavenger, you know that fusion cores are very valuable. Are they dangerous to just pull out? No. They're pretty much built to be interchangeable. Uh, easy to swap out. If you yank it out right now, it'll probably cause the power to go out. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of a... It shouldn't be too dangerous for you. Like, just the power in that humming? Like, not the whole building? Yeah, this is sort of uh, localized in this section. Not- notably, notably the uh, the power in the nuclear wing uh, was absent. There was no power in the nuclear medicine wing. I'll then take a look at this. Yeah, sure. What y'all got, Louis? Oh, my. Is that? Oh, yeah, it is. That's an intact fusion core. Oh, my stars. This was a good day, despite radiation poisoning. She reaches out, and she will very carefully take it out. Okay. You wrap your fingers around it, and with a couple of few tugs, you have a... Uh, somewhat drained fusion core. I'd say you have a fusion core uh, with 75% of its charge left. 
Uh, and as you yank it out, you hear... As the area you are in goes dark. She'll turn on her pit boy light and just be like, here we go, Phil, watch that, would you? Phil gives and, you uh, And uh, here's some extra stuff I also found for your uh, armor. Oh, fantastic. Once we get back to where we were, I'll go ahead and work on my harness with it. Yeah, I think this. Yeah. I think we got a pretty good haul in here. Let's head oh, back. Yeah. Let me okay. take a look at that jar. Medical. That's not industrial, but it might work. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Lube is lube. Lube is lube, after all. This must be cleaner, I guess. <laughs> Let's get going. What a good haul, Louise. Fantastic. You make me blush. <laughs> As you're walking back, Cynthia. Hmm. The emergency lights in this room uh, are red, and it highlights this area with sort of a sinister, uh, somewhat sinister vibe to it. Hmm. This is a relatively large room. And you see a couple of sort of smaller rooms surrounding this big, large one. Uh, and Gov looks around. It should be in here somewhere. Maybe it's in one of the smaller rooms. Do you know what it is? I think he called it an EBT. EBT? Yeah. Would I know, Connor, from my life what that would be? Um, you know, uh, this EBT stands for external beam therapy. It was sort of a radiation therapy uh, that aimed at targeting cancer cells in order to kill their ability to reproduce. Okay. And it is a rather large machine. Uh, Gov. Yeah. That's not gonna be something we can just carry out of here. No. Uh, shit. I was Why just told to find it. Why does an EBT. He said he needs that... it to. Hmm. Go on. That hurt you, you all? It's radiation. It can't hurt us. In fact, it heals us. Hang on. Oh. He takes a sip from his flask so his voice doesn't crack. Mm hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Shit. Drop something. <laughs> I dropped something else. I picked him up. Glad to hear it. It'd be use. It'd be useless for you, smooth skit. Well, um, your, your for friends. the humans, right? Uh, but for ghouls to have uh, rapid healing more than that is this how the conversion works well no that's uh, <laughs> uh that's a bit simpler simpler yeah it's not hard to get exposed to radiation out here in the wasteland Let's just say that. Hmm. No. Taking is... a rat roach bath. <laughs> Something like that. No, this is. This has a different purpose. 
see where uh, goes. We I'm not even sure I should be telling you all this, but I did I did say I would and you can see he's really conflicted. Gov, there was plenty of things I told you all today that I shouldn't have told anyone. He sort of looks at you and, and judging from your form, he sort of tenses up a bit. The boss, Bach. He's not a normal ghoul. In what way? In a lot of ways. He's... got... Uh, everything a ghoul could want while still being a ghoul. He's strong. He's charismatic. He's... You just have to see him, honestly. Hmm. But, and I don't know how, uh, uh, make a charm roll. Okay. Uh, let's see if it does this to me again. And you do have your fast friends. Oh yeah, I will totally use that then. So what does this do exactly? Oh, <gasps> I got a four. Uh, uh, well, that would have been for the first time, though. The first time you introduce yourself to an NPC, they'll be warmer to you than they would be the average person. It also, additionally, you get it one's the result of a first charm roll you make towards them, and this was the first yeah. one. So that'd be a five. So got five. <laughs> Not great. He sort of clenches his eyes and shakes his head. No, no. Uh, I'm sorry, I... You gotta understand. I don't want to give away all of my boss's secrets. He's, uh, enigmatic enough as it is. If I go blabbing on, others will think I'm a... I have a loose tongue. I, I appreciate your help. I appreciate your help. Trust me, I do. But... You gotta understand. Everybody has their secrets. And my boss wants to keep his. Cynthia's brows kind of knit together. My only concern, Gov, is that your boss may have bigger plans for people that don't want to be ghouls. You don't know him like I do. Look, let's I just don't. find this machine, okay? You can worry about all that later. If it's as big as you say we say it is, it's not going anywhere. Fair point. Let's find it. Okay. How do you go about doing that? Uh, what, that would be knowledge I would know from my computer stuff, would it not? Uh, you know it's in this general area. But uh, not but where you don't know is. You don't know which door it's in. Okay. And there are four doors. She's gonna go in the second to the left. Second to the left? Yeah. Okay. Like, all the way to the left, one in. Oh, okay. Um, Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So door number two. You, door number two. As you... Uh, you open the door, uh, and you step into a room that looks like it has a bunch of files. Uh, you don't see anything that looks like an EBT. 
she will go to the leftmost door. The leftmost door? Yes. Okay. She'll also yell over. Check that one on the far right. Let me know what you see inside. Gotcha. As you open the door there, You open the door into a rather large room. It looks like there is a table, maybe a desk with uh, a sink, uh, a couple of cabinets where it looks like some relatively commonplace medical items are used, gloves, uh, sticks, stuff like that, like 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 tongue sticks, you know? They used to... Mm. Tongue depressors. Yes. Uh, general stuff like that. And on the other side of the room, you see a large white machine that is sort of tilted a little to one side. Um, it looks... It looks like a big sort of L-shaped machine that's on its side it's it's like a it looks a bit like uh like a shower nozzle you know like the kind of detached and you hold and mm -hmm. it looks a bit like that but it's very large and it is stuck to the wall does uh, this from my memory look like what an ebt would be uh, this appears to be the EBT. I think I found it. In this room over here. It's attached to the wall, though. I think you're going to have a hard time carrying it out. Whenever you get to that point, it is. Yeah. Uh, he will uh, sl shut the door from where he was. And I'm just going to roll something for him real quick. Just to see if he finds something. Because he went into that room. Where did my dice go? I didn't even drop them. I just full on lost my dice. Excellent, <laughs> Connor. But you they won't be lost forever because they're diehard dice. Diehard dice. They dice. always come back if they, they love you. They always come back unless they like don't. Rambo. Of course, you could always order more using the code. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have your code memorized. I'm normally pretty good at chilling. Expect Feb. I remembered it. <laughs> Expect Feb. Expect Feb. There you go. See, I, I, like, my head was stuck on unexpect. I'm like, that can't be right. Expect can't be right. Be unexpected. He, uh, he walks out of the out of the room. He doesn't appear to have anything on him as well. Uh, uh yeah. Oh. Well, that looks pretty big and pretty important. Uh, God, I wish I had my ghouls. Oh, you had a... What, sorry? My, you know, the thing you shot. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, shit. Well, uh, he sort of runs a hand along the side of the machine. Yeah, this looks like it's it. And this is what he described to me, although I thought it would be smaller. Uh, it's my fault, probably. Anyway, um... I doubt it. It doesn't seem like he's 
Telling you everything. Sort of squints at you a little bit. Oh, that's my, that's our business. I'm not trying to become your enemy here. I've just seen things like this in the past. You're blaming yourself for something he didn't tell you about? That's why I'm concerned. Well, he can't tell us everything either, can he? All I know is I've seen what he can do. And it works. It's true. He can fix the one thing that ghouls can't do. What do you mean? <clears throat> he sort of clenches his teeth. He shakes his head. Never mind. It's something Look, that's going to come out one way or another. If you don't know, you don't need to know. Look, the truth is, the fact of the matter is, is that you and your friends aren't in danger. Nobody in the wasteland's in danger. This is so ghouls can get an even playing field. What can ghouls not do? Go ahead and make a smarts. Test. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Nine. Nine. Uh, you know a lot of things about ghouls, and he's filled you in on a couple of other things as well. Um, just judging off of you, some of your interactions and general knowledge of how radiation affects the body. Uh, you know that the process of ghoulification also makes them sterile. Oh. Wait, so... You're telling me that you all will be able to have children. Shit. I knew I said too much. All right, look. Yeah. What's Bach the harm has a, in the Bach, ha Bach has a cure for sterility in ghouls. He's oh, heaven. Lying. Why on earth would I be worried about that? I think it's wonderful. You'll be able to have families. Humans. They get a certain way when someone's higher up on the food chain than them. With this... We'll be a step above humans in pretty much every way. Except in the looks be department. Be careful with that. Be very careful with that. Like I said, we're the next step. There's that talk again. I have no qualm with you all taking this machine. Good. Let's keep in mind that the fear you feel now don't become that fear for others. It won't unless they make it their fear. And 
and I no Just dissolutions. Make... They probably will. But if it does, that's on them. Just make sure they have a choice. They always have a choice. It's whether they make the right one that counts. Suppose it does. Hmm. Well, regardless, I have to thank you for finding this for us. I should probably call in to headquarters somehow. Need to see if I can find an old ham radio and tune into the frequency. I need to contact the people so we can occupy this hospital. You'll, uh... You'll probably want to avoid the old Lambert Airport. Why's that? Well, that's where we're holed up. We're pretty territorial. Not to mention, the whole place is surrounded by ferals. So you should have told me something like that? Why, so you can not get ambushed by a bunch of feral ghouls? I'm trying to help you, sister. I appreciate it. I'm only pulling your leg. Mm. Still, though, for real, we get pretty territorial. All right. If you let them know that you know me, though, they should give you a bit of a pass. Uh, that's all I can offer you right now. But with this, I think you've given us the hope of a future. And that means something bigger than you'll ever know. I can imagine. Well. Guess I'll stay here and look around for an old radio or something. You and your friends can have anything you want if you're scavenging around here. Will they be able to come back if they need? I worry I'll let, about them. I'll let people know that you helped me find this. All right. I'll vouch for you, but, you know, just don't kill any more just, of my pharaohs next time. I'll do my best. Right. And try and you keep know, the talk of being a synth out of the conversation, if you don't mind. My lips are sealed. My lack of lips, anyway. <laughs> I appreciate it, Gov. Hmm. You know, they used to be people, too. Just like me. The ferals. Do you care about them? Yeah. Sort of like... Kindred spirits, almost. You know. Except we... Uh... The ravages of time and so many other factors, it's just completely eaten away at their brains and they go mad. Mm. They're part of the reason why we have such a bad reputation, but, you know, on some level I can't help but feel sorry for them. But I probably have their luxury because they don't attack me. Um gonna stay here for a little while and see if I can learn what I can about this thing. You should, uh, probably get back to your friends. I don't want you to be some sort of, uh, irradiated super robot. <laughs> Sounds like fun, I don't know. But you're probably right. Well, you take care, Gov. Yeah, you too. Despite everything, 
Ah. Uh, you're not bad people. You're just weird. I think I could say the same about you. I suppose so. Oh, and, uh... If you... You four, you're really escaped from the arena. Face drops a bit. Yes. You might want to stay out of Westport, too. What's in Westport? People who buy the slaves at the arena. Some sort of hoity-toity township. It's real sweet looking, but they never let a ghoul like me in. Hmm. I got a Just... feeling I wouldn't be quite welcome either. Good to know, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, it's been nice chatting. Yeah. Chill. Turn and walk out the doors, waving her fingers behind her. Take it easy, some nymphia. <laughs> you too, Gov. You too. And he turns around and he just sort of stares at this thing, gives it a couple pats, and uh, he fades from view as you walk back to the rest of the group who are. Apex is uh, sitting. Uh, after, like, realizing he couldn't find shit, he just started, uh, doing what he normally does at night, just sitting at a desk and is working on a sheet of paper as Cynthia's walking by. He notices and scrambles to put the shit away. <laughs> well, well. What are you up to? Just waiting. Wanted to hear if there was problems and nothing else. Nothing else at all that you just scrambled to put away? No. Um, I didn't find any more supplies. And you're a bad liar. Hmm. Well, <laughs> where's Louise and Alvin? They went to check the cardiology department for supplies. You two would be coming back at this point. They wanted to check the pharmacy downstairs. I wanted to wait here, so they stayed on this floor. Do you need more time to finish up doing nothing else at all? No, I was just changing if I'm good. <clears throat> we well, pop in at this point. Yeah, Alvin and Louise, you can you can pop in around this point. Oh, Louise, I can't believe we found an actual fusion core. And it it has been a good day. Oh man. Oh hey guys. Bless him. Oh hey, how you doing, Apex? I'm a Cynthia. Uh, where's Gov? He found his machine. Oh, that's He's good. Be staying here, waiting for everyone else to come. They're going to be taking over this spot. Hmm. I wanted to go ahead and, uh, I'm glad I got some of the scraps of tools and whatnot. I wanted to, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. And Alvin will just go ahead and walk into the office place where they found Gov. Okay. And he is to unsling his shotgun and all his shells. And he is going to, to the best of his ability, complete completely maintain and get that shotgun up to snuff as well as he can. Uh, darling, you don't need to do that. Well, I told him I'd leave the shotgun here for him. He needs I gave him my hunting rifle. He's fine. Are you sure? I don't know if you've noticed, but I got guns to spare. Well, I'm, and I'm she gonna... gestures at all of her. He's probably... Well, he's probably glad for it, but I hate breaking promises, Miss Cynthia. Eh, he didn't break the promise. He just got a different gun instead. You could always leave him a note. I'm sure he'll find it eventually. 
You know, I'll do just that, actually. Uh, I'll rummage around and see if I can find some paper. Apex pulls a sheet of paper from his uh, fanny pack and hands it to you. Oh, hey, Hanny, you must have found that during scaven, huh? Cynthia Thanks, slowly turns to Apex. Apex just stares blankly forward. Yes. <laughs> Her eyes turn that very powdery pink and she smiles. Look, Apex really very needs to write dangerous. that in Unexpectables fan fiction, okay? Oh my god. And let's see. Now I need to find something to write with. Uh, he's rummaging through, like, drawers. Apex pulls a pen out of his fanny pack. <laughs> Wow, you must have been all slowly <laughs> looks down at the fanny pack and slowly looks up to Apex with a big sweeping gesture of her head. Wow. Apex continues staring blankly ahead. Puts you... a hand against the wall and a hand on her hip. Nothing at all, huh, Apex? Nothing prescient. Okay. Mm Louise kind of quietly whispers, yeah, I don't get it either, Phil. Uh, yeah, I can't believe you went ahead and you must have found some kind of office room or something. Good on you. Good on you. All right. Mm. Let's see. And I'm just going to write a note for Gov. And it is going to say, Gov, I hope you enjoy the hunting rifle. I hope you have lots of, uh, I hope you have lots of ammo for it. I'm glad that you found your machine. And I'm glad we were able to help you. Remember, out here it's tough. But so long as you work hand in hand, and you greet everybody as well as you can be, everything's going to turn out all right. Your friend, Alvin. And I'm going to hand the pen back to Apex. There, that way he'll know that we're here. Apex nods. Cynthia watches every movement oh. as Apex puts the pen back in his fanny back. So, shall we check the pharmacy before we leave? Oh, absolutely. Let's go ahead and check that out. We have good luck. We found that future core. I'll bet you find like maybe two of them down there. I don't know. Let's and go ahead. As everybody else leaves the office, when Apex realizes that everybody has left, he looks around left and right. And from his panty pack, he pulls out Apex, the wild man of the waste, issue number four, the slaver's den. <laughs> My God. Introdu introducing... <laughs> Three new characters. Captain Fixit, Nitro Nurse, and the Wayward Soul. And he sets it on top of the note. And he walks out. <laughs> oh my god! Is it comic book artist? Who's writing about his own adventures? Is it good art? I wanna know! So, so many people in the chat are going, I fucking called it. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Shop guy with a so, mask. <laughs> uh, there is a reason. There is a bigger reason behind this, but yes, <laughs> rare first edition of issue number four of issue Apex number Wild four. Man of the Waste. Apex Wild Man of the Wastes first edition uh, rests beside the heartfelt note written by Alvin as you two exit the nuclear medicine department and make your way towards the pharmacy on the bottom floor. Uh, let me just go ahead and roll one more thing here. By the way, uh, for everybody at home, if anybody actually wants to draw the cover art for this comic, uh, the word prof like the word Captain Fix It, originally the word Professor Fix It is under it, but he scratched out the word Professor and put in Captain after what he learned. Oh, after Cynthia calling him Captain. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and somewhat poetically, as you guys make your way oh. down, uh, from the windows, you can see outside the sun begin to shine through the clouds. And it looks like the weather Yay! is now a bright, sunny day. It's a little bit later in the evening. Uh, so it looks like the sun is starting to go down, but it's still relatively well lit outside. And you make your way to the pharmacy. Cynthia, you know precisely where that is because of your amazing computer role. 
And who wants to do some scavenging? I oh do. my god. I can, only roll, I can only roll regular scavenging this time. Correct. So that is your gonna... once per day ability. But I still I roll dress I still roll wit, uh, wits, right? Yes, it is wits to see if you want to scavenge anything. Neat. Oh yes. An eight, not bad. What I turn just Let... watching Louise, I will also try to scavenge. Ooh. Yes. Aw. You're still new, it's okay. Unfortunately, Alvin, you're from Riverside. You get a lot of traders in and out, and you're not used to going hunting for things. Uh, I, you're you're trying to pick up on it, but you just you just can't seem to find anything. Uh, Louise, you as your uh, as you are shuffling through. the as you're shuffling through the various different <coughs> piles of refuse and searching through desks and stuff uh you find a tin case okay i will open that i guess okay you uh pop the cap off the tin case uh, and you find a stash of 11 caps. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what do I have already? Man, I still have tw Uh, Oh, I can edit that, right? Okay. Edit. I mean, I still have, like, over 200 caps I haven't even used, but... <laughs> All right, I added that. Um, I used two shotgun shells, I think. How many do I have left? Because I'm not sure I had that number. I think, you s I, think I said for the sake of, of making it easier for everybody... Uh, that you all have 10 of your respective ammunition uh, for whatever you have, so... Okay, just want to make a note of that. You would have 8. Got it. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Anything else in there? Just the caps? Just the caps. Uh, looks like a pretty uh, somewhat healthy cap stash. Um, <coughs> and... Cynthia, you yeah. managed to find mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Uh while you're searching through sort of uh sort of more of the medical equipment here, uh you notice uh, you notice a magazine rack, or like sort of a, a basket full of magazines, like in the, like in a waiting room or something, uh, sitting next to a chair, uh, and it catches your eye, and you, uh, you notice the cover of one, and it says M M M on it, mm. uh, in big mm. big bold red letters. Okay. Uh, and you would know. Uh, because of your background. So this is the mm -hmm. Midwest Medical Magazine. Okay. Something that you uh, used to peruse quite a bit. Okay, I will take it. Okay. You take it and it fills you full of fond memories. And lots of old medical knowledge. And if you open it up and pick through it a little bit, You'll find that for checks involving medicine, you can now re-roll a one. Ooh. There's only That's once nice. per medic once per medical roll. Be sure to write that down. For checks involving medicine, <laughs> I can add one to my roll. Mm-hmm. No, you can re-roll once. Oh, I can re-roll once. Okay. That's amazing. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's strong. Big. Yeah. That's super strong. Super fucking do, strong. You can only do it once per roll though. And if you get another one, then you can't re-roll that. Yeah, that's six. that that's that's basically a free perk. Holy shit. Skill yeah, that is... I love it. I love it. I love, I love it. Thanks, Connor. Additionally, <gasps> uh, it seems with the cap stash and the uh 
it seems the cap stash and the um, just general other notable things like open cans of dog food or something. This looks like this used to be someone's hidey hole. Um, oh. And you find on the ground with a bunch of other syringes uh, a syringe uh, you've never quite seen before. Uh, it's got a big leather strap on it. Looks like... Give me just a second here. I'm going to look up an image. Uh, the, yeah, it's it's a big syringe uh, with a leather strap going right down the middle of it, and it's holding two separate cans of something. You've never quite seen something like this before. Uh, you don't know what it okay. is. Okay. Uh, but it is okay. full. I will take that as well. Hmm. Do, you, do you just add it to your inventory or do you uh i'll you... try and like search and see if there's any information of like what it is but you can do um you can do a medical check on it why don't you uh-huh let's you do probably, it probably try to re-roll your ones yeah. roll, roll smarts Okay. Bink. 14! Oh, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> so, I don't not know what it is. I know exactly what it is. So, as a matter of fact, actually, <laughs> though you haven't spent too terribly much time in the wasteland, uh, you have... <laughs> you've heard the term thrown around, uh, angry juice. Um... And just based off of some people that you've come across in your journeys, uh, you would know that this is the chem known as Psycho. And you know what it does is basically it dampens higher brain functions uh, in order to create sort of mindless berserker killing mode. yeah berserker mode it it gets your adrenaline pumping it basically turns you into shock troops um it's a military grade psychosis inducing amphetamine okay uh and what it does is uh, you can write this down as well. Uh, a dose okay. of psycho. Okay. Will add plus two to your body rolls. Jesus Christ. Ooh. For a few hours. Or well, not a few hours. Uh, a few minutes. Uh, basically, an en basically an encounter. It'll add plus two to your body rolls for an encounter. Uh, but afterwards and during it also you would add a minus two to any wits rolls you make and you would also know that this is a very addictive chem Okay. Uh, Long-term effects could include dementia, psychosis, elevated levels of aggression, and general agitation. It can also cause some internal damage as well with enough prolonged use. Uh, and actually, I lied. Um, you... <laughs> have heard of this from pre-war as, uh, pre as well. Being in your... Oh, okay. Being in your precise profession, with your precise knowledge, uh, with that role, uh, <laughs> with, of a 14, uh, you would know that this, uh, this drug is a combat drug used by the U.S. Armed Forces uh, during the reclamation of the... of Anchorage. Which was a huge struggle with the Chinese 
uh, after they basically uh, a Chinese force overtook uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Yeah. And you would have heard about that operation. She will see it. Undoubtedly, she would have memories. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. So, her eyes will actually glow black for a second. And then return to normal, and she will hide them in her pack, which is under her cap. Okay. Her caplet. You hide the psycho syringe on your person? Yes. Excellent. That's about it. <laughs> uh, not bad, not great. Get anything good, Cynthia? Found some old magazines. Reminded me of the old days. I think I might have remembered a thing or two, actually. Oh, useful. Uh, I guess that's it for me, guys. I, f I found some powdered drywall if you're in the market for that. <laughs> uh, not everything's going to be a success. Don't worry about it. No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. The I'm Apex. Glad Apex is just standing watch. He's had okay. very little luck scavenging. All right, roll roll wits to, to keep a watch out, though. Ten. Yeah. Uh, as you look around, off in the distance, you see... Just a bloat fly wandering by. Fly, little bloat fly. Fly. <laughs> Wait, do we hear that? Are we close enough to hear that? Bloat flies are huge, so yeah, you would absolutely hear that. No, uh, no, here, 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 Apex. Uh, Apex. Fly, little bloat fly, fly. Oh, uh, that's up to Apex if he wants to hide that. I, I'm not really hiding it. You guys are just kind of like chattering over what you found. I'm just absentmindedly watching a bloat fly out a window. <laughs> okay, well, the way that he says that, Cynthia's gonna get another shit-eating grin and stare at the back of Apex, who's looking out over things. The back of his neck begins to prickle, knowing that somebody's staring at him. <laughs> In the distance. Cynthia's eyes glow pink. <laughs> All right. Are we done here? I think we picked this place as far as we can. I can't see if there's anything on the shelves or anything like that. No, I think we're all good. Then we should carry on. The exactly. weather is nice. It is a beautiful day out. Where do y'all want to go now? If we were going to continue toward the vault, then that way. If not, then wherever else. Absolutely. Where else? Is there anywhere that we shouldn't go? Westport. And, uh, the Lambert Airport. That's where the ghouls are. Yes. It is. Never heard of Westport. What's well, in Westport? Slaver Town. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm glad I did Would, um, as a scavenger, would I have heard anything about Westport? You would actually know about Westport. Um, all of you would actually know about West. Well, except, well, Cynthia, you weren't about Westport. I, I, I probably wouldn't. I'm new to town. Well, actually, yeah. Uh, then, so so Ape, maybe... Apex, Apex, you wouldn't know about Westport. Alvin and Louise, however, you would know that Westport is a very nice neighborhood. Very hoity-toity, however. Uh, it is mostly intact, as a matter of fact. It is a very lovely small community. Uh, but the people there are a bit snobby and they don't shy away from using slave labor to get things done uh, shady as shit always happens in the rich areas yeah uh, it's a great having to trade with them but damn me if they don't have good stuff I do hate what they do though I ain't got no problem avoiding that place same well 
Okay. Then, should we continue to the vault? I would love we... to go ahead and see a vault. I had never seen one. Well, I've seen one, but, you know. Louise's mood dampens slightly again, but she's just like, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. Off we go. As you all turn... You head down the road. And more is revealed to you. More space. More space indeed. As you head down the road, away from St. Luke's Hospital, one of you might catch the uh, glimpse of Gov staring down at you uh, from a window. And he uh, appears like he's got something in his hand. Oh. And, he, and he turns away, and he will uh, get out Apex, of sight. Apex, well, uh, if I'm letting my previous wits roll or uh, pre uh, Ritz, bleh, wits roll continue, I'll just give him a knowing nod. Oh my god! He'll give you a look like. All right, weirdo. <laughs> oh my God. I look back at Gov and I give him a thumbs up at the window. I keep walking. He'll he'll raise a hand up at you and he'll smile and wave. Hmm. And as he ducks out of sight, you two wander down the road, heading towards Vault 85. And that's where we're going to end the session. Hey. Hey, for a walk outside now. Bye, Austin. <laughs> Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Send firewood. Wee. Wow. What an interesting session this was. Yeah, seriously. Isn't it just. Can I also say that a silent song for the background? Actually, anxiety inducing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when whenever you're in like completely silent like buildings like that that don't have power the the sounds it produces can really play tricks on you oh yeah no absolutely oh it reminds me of uh it reminds me of the haunted prison over at danesville there's actually an abandoned mill that i i went into one time when i was in high school and Oh, like <laughs> just never nope. fucking. It was cool, but never, never again. Fucking. <laughs> never Man. fucking. Never fucking again. I used uh, to go. Yeah, I used to go all kinds of like ghost hunting in abandoned buildings, like um, the old abandoned hotel in downtown for the longest time. They restored it now, but ooh, I went in there and it is a place where uh, Satan fucks. That's where that is. Oh. It's an awful right. place. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I that is imagery. I turned on a light switch and every light on that floor almost exploded. Oh. And I screamed and ran. <laughs> I would have as well. All right. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Gateway, episode four. Your rain fever got me, DMC. Your rain fever. Wear a suit to court. Slowly but surely, I get Louise better and better. Yay! Yep. That's how it is. You I, get it. it fits like a glove. I'm glad I got to drop the lore on that piece for Apex because <laughs> I I need I need his legend to spread for uh, reasons. I, oh, he said, "You tell everyone what you saw here." And he said, okay. "Oh my god!" You, you tell every well, specifically tell everybody about your encounter with the Apex. I can't believe that oh guy was god. just a huge nerd. <laughs> oh my Worst god! Worst adventure ever. I god. love. It. I got beat up by a big nerd. <laughs> got beat up real. Oh <laughs> my god, he did! Got, got beat also, up and spared. radiation oh. roaches, fuck. Oh god, I can't. Yeah. yeah uh, that, was almost was a, that was at least not as worse as the fucking pixie, murder pixies from, oh my god, you know, the, Prince the Division. Speed, but the quicklings, yeah. Uh, uh, oh boy, well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Rabbit, why don't you tell everybody where can they can find you? Oh, absolutely. Hey, what's going on? It's me, Rabbit, an Ohioan. Also funny, maybe. 
You can find me on twitch.tv slash heymrrabbit. I stream Monday through Thursday, and I stream RPGs, horror games, and retro games. So come on down if you're feeling funky. And uh, I hope you guys really like Alvin. I mean, he's uh, he, he's nice to a fault. Sometimes that will... So, so, that, sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not fun. But it's good. I, I love that you love Alvin. There you go. That's it. I'm bad at talking right now. I've been doing this character for a while. Anyway, hi, Connor. Hi. Hi. Uh, What's up, buddy? Not a whole lot. I'm just asking uh, Lanny Pator where they can find him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Pretty much everywhere else at Lanny Pator. On Instagram, Lan1Gram. Currently on Twitch, I'm playing some Civ. Uh, currently conquering the world because nobody left have all the good stuff um but they can eat it because i have nukes now so feel free to join in and see how that goes oh god i remember yeah also issue number five of apex wild man of the waste is called do no harm and it details everything that happened in the hospital <laughs> oh my god it's funny because that was the name of the episode Ooh. yeah i remember uh man I, I hope you ever do a playthrough of Civ Five where you play as Venice, because I remember uh, playing as Venice, getting all the money, and just bankrupting every other civilization because they couldn't afford shit. <laughs> I remember naming Venice Weed Town. It was really fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Sarah, where can they find you? Where can they find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter, Sarah with an H and with an E, will ya? I, I don't, ha I don't have a lot of social media because I just don't have the patient for, patience for a lot of it. So I'm mostly there. Excellent. And finally, Caitlin, where can they find you? They can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBellrog. Um, I have a personal channel on Twitch, uh, which is twitch.tv slash Boobs McBellrog with zeros instead of O's. And then I'm also part of a podcast called Nerd on the Podcast. And we do one of our shows live every Sunday. So tomorrow at 3 p.m. PST, if you go to twitch.tv slash nerd on, we will be recording the Nerd on update live and you can submit questions in the chat. That's it for me. <laughs> Egg salad. Uh, and then they can find me, uh, twitch.tv slash distortion devil, twitter.com slash distortion devil, and youtube.com slash distortion devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday is my tabletop wargaming day with my buddy Luke. Uh, I think next week it's going to be my Emperor's Children versus his one of his armories, I'm sure. Probably going to be. <laughs> Fucking thousand suns again, god damn it. <laughs> How many psychic dice do you have? He just gets a bucket and just upturns it. <laughs> it just makes makes my makes my eyeballs explode. Boils my oh, nice. blood. Uh yeah. Uh that's Tuesday. Friday's Friday Funhouse, where I just play some fun games. Saturday is Yakuza Kiwami 2. That is has been just an absolute blast. I I am I love that game so much. It is such an improvement from Kiwami One, like you wouldn't even believe. Uh, oh. And Sunday, I'm either playing Half Life Alex or I'm playing games with the Harbingers, uh, the community over at Dead House Sonata, uh, Bread House Vertata. Um, oh my God. Camp House Granada. <laughs> Me House Valhalla. <laughs> Drink House Valhalla. No. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no more. And, and, and that uh, is a thing that you can find at this link as soon as I get it. I'm surprised you don't have it night botted. Uh, that that'd be up to Monty or one of the mods, I think, to to get the Dead House and not a link in there. There you go. But until that day happens, uh, you can click that link, get up to date on all the latest news on Dead House Sonata. Uh, that should be coming out later this year. Uh, and there's a lot of fun stuff coming down the pipeline for that. 
Also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I have a few subclasses out for uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, including the Oath of Joy Paladin, the School of Finance Wizard, and the Way of Emptiness Monk. Uh, coming out sometime this month, just as soon as I get the art for it, uh, <laughs> will be the Passion Domain Cleric. And after that, I think my community has voted on what they want to see next uh, for the month of March. Hats. 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 Little Hats. green ones that say, uh, kiss me, I'm Irish. Maybe. I would. <laughs> I don't know. I, what is it? I, I have this fun image in my head whenever you think of, uh, uh, like, what is it for the month? Way of nothing or path of way of like that? way of emptiness. Way of emptiness. I for some reason I just keep thinking of Squizgar with like brass knuckles, and he's like, "We are nihilists. We believe in nothing." <laughs> no, we are nihilists. We don't believe in anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the predator, the predator rogue, will be for the month of March. Uh, oh. And for those of you who are interested, one what that is about. It is a rogue that is uh, taken sort of cues and maybe a little bit more from the different predators in nature uh they can camouflage themselves they can burrow holes to dig traps for their enemies uh they can mimic sounds and images to the best of their abilities and also some extra fun stuff uh and but do they, my kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch uh, mm -mm. They do get predator Dude. vision, so they can sort of see heat signatures from signature from cinnamon toast crunch. I bought the wow. cinnamon toast crunch like churro cereal they have out right now. It's really what good. The oh. you, I mean, you, they're that they're basically delicious. yeah, they're basically just like like not spherical. What's the word I'm thinking of? Cylindrical cinnamon toast crunch, but with like the cinnamon sugar all around the outside. So. <laughs> Out of town. That sounds great. Oh, wow. that, those are just, about, that's about, just straight up uh, fucking churros in a bowl. <laughs> yep. But have you guys, guys, have you guys seen the Lucky Charms Cold Stone ice cream? What? I did see that. Oh, 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 oh. I, it's the worst thing ever, and I'm gonna have it. Mickey uh, yeah, it sounds. It looks delicious, and also the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. There's no Cold Stone anywhere near me. We have Marble Stone Creamery, but they're not the same. Um, not to be fair, I used to love marble stone creamery, but oh, yeah, they all kind they're of fine, die. But they, are, they aren't stone. They aren't. They aren't stone cold. Stone cold, my God! I don't give a damn about any of your ice cream. I'm just get here. The arms, the Oreos. The... What? <laughs> I'm gonna get one scoop, two scoops, what? three what? scoops. What? I'm so glad right. to and I'll tell this. you something. Arthur, when we go to Tahiti. <laughs> Arthur, I have faith. That took, that took a whole many turns. Anyway. I, I, uh, I just wanted to say that like we had, had a cold stone, but now it's a Menchie's, but Menchie is also good. Sometimes I go in there and just, I feel like I'm at Winnie Hunt Juniors every time I go in, but I love it. <laughs> All right. And I'd also like to thank our sponsor for this episode, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! dice. I actually used some this episode. I used some Die Hard Dice. I rolled for... Where did they go? I'll find them later. But they were around here somewhere, and I rolled some Die Hard Dice by gosh, and, uh... Dice that refuse to die. They know nothing about the concept of death. They're above it. And they can be true. yours. It's true. Uh, they're also non-toxic, made of fantastic materials... Also, be sure to check out uh, dice trays, uh, carrying cases, all sorts of dice and dice accessories over at dieharddice.com. Uh, wonderfully crafted. Uh, so they're non-toxic and they're rollable? What, wow. kind, what kind of matter composes the dice, Connor? Is it polymers and metals? It's true. Oh my God. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. And they're and also custom brand of dice known as dire dice and you can get 10 percent off by using what code expect the code feb. expect feb expect oh my goodness feb. it's true you can get 10 percent off by putting in the affiliate code expect feb or whenever you check out for your purchases at diedice.com they also have dice for other systems as well such as magic the gatherings 
I am literally looking at the website right now. <laughs> <laughs> Even roll down dice. That's right. So true. So you can get your ass beat. Be sure, to check, out, be sure to check out our sponsor, Die Hard Dice. Get some dice for you oh. or a friend or anybody in your life. Uh, My God. And with that, okay. Sorry, I'll stop. It's dumb. And, it's really dumb. Don't mm. play something. Uh, and dumb. with that, I'm going to read out the last of these bits and subs before we go ahead and sign off here. Sounds swell to me. Uh. He's a really pretty though. Damn. Oh yeah, got a lot of great colors in there. Uh, Platinum Raven, uh, thank you for the nine months of Prime subage. RPG Russian, thank you for the eleven months at Tier One. Maverick the Warlock, thank you for the eleven months as well. I think I read that one already. I think I read that one already. Uh, <laughs> probate with the 1,500 bits. If they were anglers, it would be called Baitway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, this this meme keeps evolving or <laughs> mutating. I guess it would would be more appropriate. Uh, priest of Ether, thank you for the seven months of Prime subage. Gateway time. Woo. I have had very little interaction with the Fallout universe, but if this is what I have in store, sign me up. Yeah. More or less, I try to stay faithful to the uh, Fallout universe. It's keep it as lore-friendly as possible. Uh, Ox Factor, thank you for the six months. Thank you for the games and the laughs. Thanks, Connor, for playing my Prince Division track a few weeks back. Working on another one, and we'll post it soon. Awesome. Uh... Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. In in best peppy voice. <laughs> well, like 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 peppy peppy hair. <laughs> maybe maybe right. they mean peppy. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for peppy hair. Our extra limbs and tumors a bad look for you. Do you want to glow, but not in that way? Then use Rataway, right Fox. Rataway right goes great on skin and removes more radiation than the leading brand. Live another day with Rataway. Right Do a barrel roll. <laughs> and a happy nobody. Thank you for the 500 bits. Guess who just deposited their check for working overtime at a wing joint for the Super Bowl? Oh my God. Hey, hope you stayed safe. Yeah. And I hope I you got wings, tipped. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Yummy, yummy wings. And with that, I think it's time to sign off. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, everybody. Uh, next week will be more Prince Division. Uh, also, stay tuned to see what is happening with the Unexpectables this week. Uh, it's a bit hectic, given the situation down in Texas with some of our players, but we will keep you updated. Be sure to check out our Twitter, twitter.com, at underscore Unexpectables underscore for more news on that. Or you can... Uh, join our Discord to get more information on that uh, that way as well. Uh, and who should we raid? We've got Theropod Art. Uh, we've got Shinigami Eater. We've got Octopimp. Oh, Kagi streaming. Or uh, Alejandro, I mean. Are they huh? Uh, He's voice act friend. Does all does lots of voice acting. Three pod. Raid a dinosaur. What should our raid message be? Oh my god, mom! It's a dinosaur. Beware of Sethi Roach. Ah uh, yes. No. <laughs> Beware! No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, not. Nah, I was gonna beware, say. Beware, beware, Sephi Roach. Beware, Sephi Roach. Sephi Roach. Sprout his wings. Who will be Sephi Roach? Turn on the light, where he goes, Sephi Roach. <laughs> 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 <laughs>